Oh, it's us. We're back. Welcome, everybody, to a very special edition of Fatal Showdown. I'm uh, Gibby, a.k.a. Manchester, joined by my boys, the other goons. Yo, bro. Hey, there you go. How's oh, you going? guys can't see my camera. That's why I forgot. I was about to say, I don't know who you're pointing to right now. Yeah, I know. Uh, exciting times coming up, and I'll let you finish your intro. That's the intro. What's going on, That's everybody? The intro. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, oh, we get straight to the point here, yeah. folks, I guess. You know. yeah. Sorry, you didn't see me well, pointing well, at you guys. I, I, before we get to the to the to the to the nitty nitty gritty, I guess you could say, uh, you know, it's been a very interesting couple of weeks. Uh, I just got back from Vegas. Great vacation, great birthday. Thank you for everybody for the birthday wishes. Really appreciated it. Uh, and we just had pretty uh, pretty good Father's Day, right? All three of us. Did we? Yeah, I was gonna say. Did I mean, we? I did. I had a great Father's Day. <laughs> I was what, like, what we did, didn't even. I got a this. new grill. I cooked. It was awesome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sh show. Let me let me see. Smile. Let me see them girls. I want to see. Oh, that's what that's what your daughter got you. Yeah, nice. I got. She got me like a you know the nice shiny smile. pearlies, you know. And so, and, and in exchange, oh. I I cooked her up some some thigh. Uh, you know, oh, hold on, hold on, thighs. Chris. So, show show me the technique you use to grill up those thighs. The te technique so, I use show to me, grill bro. up those yeah. thighs. I gotta show you. Like, yeah, hold on show me. Like, so you, you grab first, it. First, uh -huh. First of all, I grab it. Oh, gee, look at it. Whoa, whoa. The thong, right? You got to make sure that you hold your hand at a nice 90 degree angle like Ooh. this to make Ooh. sure that you have proper control of the chicken thigh. Uh -huh. And then you uh -huh. stick it on like that and you flip it every now and then like this. Hold on, man. And every buddy. once in a while, you want to shake it out, make sure no you know, excess uh, char <laughs> is on I don't... the uh, apparatus. I don't think you're cooking thighs, bro. Seems like you're cooking them shoulders, yeah. though. Yeah. Cooking a little bit of shoulders, yeah, let's, man. You know, I had to get rid of it. Hold on. Let's not, hot let's, dad let's, summer. It's officially hot let's, dad let's not summer. Let's beat around the bush. Let's see that back. Hit, hit, us, oh, hit us with the oh. back. Hit us with the back. Hit him with the back. Ooh, oh. look at that. Look at that. Hulk Hogan ain't got shit on that. All right. Anyway, mm. how, how'd your right. uh, Father's Day go, Abe? Uh, you know what, man? I keep feeling so old every year. Yeah. Because. <laughs> It was literally just, oh, just chill at my house and then go visit my pops and see my pops uh, play with my son. So it was, that was cool, you know, they go outside, have their own little adventures and see little Rio try to beat my dad up. So did he beat up dad? Uh, he beats us all up. Uh, he's at that age where he just throws everything at our face and Ooh, it's like perfect, nice. like, you know, crotch height to like kill your nuts. Typical so, Rio. So exactly, bro. He's he hits you, with, he, he, he hits you with the itchigeki. Yeah, yeah. He hits you with right, the itchigeki, right. bro. Uh, mm. And he powers it up too. He tells you it's coming. He's like, it's coming. <laughs> so it sounds like you guys had a better one than I did, because like my my mm. little one, she uh she she went and got me like some some random candy from the store. Like spent like four bucks on candy for me, last, yeah. sometime last like last week around this time. And mm. on Father's Day, she just sat down and played Fortnite. And the next day, she's like, oh, my God, it was Father's Day yesterday. I'm so sorry. And she starts freaking out. And then um, uh, she may have given me, like, an, an eye infection or something. I don't know. But that's why you're going to keep seeing a lot of this, everybody. I'm sorry. Happy Father's Day. Yeah, ha happy Papa's Day. So, um, hey, everybody. We're here today to discuss uh, Fatal Fury, City of the Wolves, um, particularly at Summer Game Fest. Um, hey, Chris. Mm. Did you guys go to Summer Game Fest? <laughs> you guys did. I did not. And I did not know that this was going down until yesterday when you announced it on our stream for uh, Metal Slug Tactics. And I've got a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, it sounds like from preliminary discussions, like you guys had a lot of fun. It was quite a bit of fun, yes. Um, uh, we're there to work, baby. Yeah. That's what we, we were, went to go We were do. working. I don't have it on my computer, but like here's 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 a picture of Abe and I working. Look at all handsome and shit. Oh man, yeah. dude. Yeah. Um, that's, well, really that, that's a that's a what you call a candid photo. Very yeah. candid. <laughs> I couldn't find my sunglasses. I was like, oh man, what do I do? I don't know what's going on. So you guys went down there to work, like yes. The, so the, the event. We were there uh, with SNK, uh, helping run the City of the Wolves booth. Um, showing oh. showing various influencers how to play, um, help assisting them. I think, I mean, Abe, you you helped way more than I did. Um, mm -hmm. I, I saw you with a stick on your lap, and I'm like, oh, I want to be him right now, bro. Um, bro, you you know what? I had the stick on my lap the whole time, but it's one of those situations when you're like 
trying to make sure you're doing a good job. We're just like, ah, I'm playing, but like, you know, my sensors on the outside are like totally firing off the entire time. So, yes, fortunately, I did have some time that people asked me, of course, to help them play or play some matches. So. I was going to say, it must have been kind of different because you had to be kind of head on the swivel with a lot of people because you were there to make sure they eased into their test time. Because yeah. I imagine it's limited, right? You can't just play all day. Hmm? Uh, so the less time they spend learning how to do cool stuff, the better. And that's what you guys are there to handle. Yeah. Um, it was different for everybody. Uh, there were some people that like jumped in like, all right, I'm going to test all the sick stuff out. I want to see how the combo system works, how the moves work, all that. And then there were some mm -hmm. people that just like, just, like face rolled on the stick, uh, which was uh, great to see. And there were some people that used smart style. <laughs> And they look like experts. Like, the um, smart smart style makes you look real good. So I, I was like, I was gonna ask. I, I don't know if I confirmed it or not, or if she confirmed it or not on her video. But I wonder, like, if Curious Joy was using smart style because I saw some of the over the shoulder camera footage, and she looked like she was cooking. That was me recording that, I think. Oh, for real? Maybe. Um, I was there. So Joy was playing Max quite a bit. Yeah. Um, I have to look at her footage. There, there was a point where she was using smart style, but there was also a point where she wasn't. Um, the game denotes when you're using smart style. So mm -hmm. on, uh, and you'll see in the footage that we have here, uh, the footage that we have is from SNK. It's not footage that Abe or I uh, recorded. If it was me and Abe recording, it, oof, primo footage. Let me tell you. Um, Oof. but on on your life bars, you'll have like the character portrait, and it'll say like S or A right next to it in a circle or a square. Sorry, I just dropped something. I don't know what it was. But, um, yeah, uh, that's how you know someone was using smart style or not. And I know some of the footage that we have today is going to feature smart style. Quite, quite a bit of it will feature smart style, now that I think of it. Um, Pockets, you weren't there. Did you have any questions for us before we get into the footage? Uh, yeah, I mean, so off the top of my head, like, uh, so me and Abe play a ton of Market of Wolves, right? And one of the biggest gripes that I hear from Abe, and I have it myself, is when you miss a break on a pivotal moment or just any moment where you were trying to just break a special. And I'm wondering if the timing is anywhere close to being as tight as it was in Market of Wolves and City of the Wolves, or is that something that might be a thing in the past? So I will happily answer that question. Um, I would say that if you miss a break in the current build, it is definitely your fault. Oh. Um, I had zero issue doing breaks. It was never a point in time like, oh my God, I missed the break. Only time, and you know, we'll get into it when we watch some of these videos, the only time it felt semi-difficult is when you're timing a JD cancel. It is a little difficult to properly execute the time because i'm not like comfortable with jd timing jd canceling in general in that game to get the timing of the break as well I'm talking about guard canceling right yes uh sorry okay. yes guard canceling uh when i'm guard canceling in uh, uh city of the wolves so right. but still i've only missed that a few times most of the time i got the breaks no problem whereas like uh you bring it up that we're playing a lot of mark of the wolves honestly bro thank god i did it helped tremendously testing out this game and seeing like what the future has to offer in comparison and to communicate this to you guys today because had i not given like that much time into the game i would just think that this is like i i, I don't know I, I just feel way more informed also while we were there we had very limited time myself and gibby to really really like sit down and play <sighs> Yeah, I know. It's a, it's a big bummer. So, um, and just just for everyone to understand, we in total we played the game for less than uh, less than 45 minutes you said. I, I felt we played 20 30 yeah. minutes. You said 45 minutes about? I would say about like if I really got into the nitty-gritty 45 minutes, but it's not like we had enough time to like play solo. Like Yeah. So, but what I was telling some of the people there was like, "Okay, if you want to learn the characters, just use the second player pad and then pick a character mm. and then just just leave them idle and then yeah. you know see what your character can do and Some then get comfortable and then and then play the cpu i didn't yeah. get to do that i got to do that like five minutes max <laughs> like that's it 
Yeah. And then all the stuff that I learned was from observing everybody else and su making suggestions. I was like, you know what? Why don't you try this with uh, Marco? Why don't you try this with Preacher? Why don't you try this with Vox? And then later, like the next day, when I got to play for a little bit again, I tried all the things I could off the top of my head. And then, oh, okay, that works, that works. That, that, and just try to go down the line as fast as I can, could, right? By like the last day, I did get semi-competent, but no joke. Like me and Gibby barely played. So uh, especially from like the fighting game player mindset, like where we just like to grind things out. It's like, I mean, 45 minutes isn't really anything, right? That's like, nothing. like, uh, and then just to be able to go in there and like try one. Like I got good with Marco and that's it. Like Vox, I was like uh, kind of remembering what to do with the character, but Gibby was more of a Vox expert than I was. He was definitely trying a bunch of stuff out. Vox, so for, for me, uh, much, much like Abe, I, I played vicariously through the players, um, particularly Max, Justin, and Joy. Yeah. Uh, Max, I sat down and helped with a lot of things. Um, not playing with him. It's just, hey, do this. Hey, do that. It was things that I, uh, it's like uh, me, Mark of the Wolves knowledge, like, hey, this should work that way. This should work this way, so on and so forth. And things work exactly how I thought they would. Um, Max took to the game very easily. Um, almost everyone that sat down and played with it took to it really mm -hmm. easily. They, they didn't really have many issues uh, with or if, as long as they knew how to play a fighting game. Um, the ones who didn't, you know, they, they didn't know how to play fighting games. So it, was, it was fine. But every, everyone loved it, which is cool. Um, Justin figured things out really quick. Uh, there was, yeah, j j watching Bro. Justin, no joke, sat down like, huh, hmm, huh, and like within five minutes found, uh, not, not touch of death combos, but found two touch kill, com like combo into Bro. setup to death. Dumping the damage. I, I, I don't know if he posted the video. He did. But he played Tetsuro and he landed, I kid you not, like an 85% combo with Marco. And I was like, damn, bro, I, I couldn't even remember the sequence. I mean, Gibby probably could, but I saw it and I was like, oh, I was like, okay. I, you, that's what it's like getting that yeah. comfortable. Like, and, and, you know, these guys did have a lot more time than we did. But regardless, uh, I'm happy that they had that much time to be able to do that in a match and, like, mm -hmm. show that off. So, Yeah. Well, watching them do their thing was good. Um, Justin... The, the big things about this game, uh, when it comes down to it, being in, being in SPG is going to be very important, uh, much more so than being in top in Mark of the Wolves. Uh, some notable differences, uh, guard cancel window is significantly smaller than Mark of the Wolves and Real About 2. Um, the, the input, there's no input buffer in the game, um, like there was in previous games. Uh, this The only time there's an input buffer is when you're just defending into a guard cancel. You could yeah. do. You could still do uh, Mark of the Wolves quarter circle forward, just defend button quarter circle forward twice, just defend button to get your supers or your specials. Mm -hmm. um, but that's the only time the input buffer comes into play. It, so you can't do like like what Dong would normally do, where he does like TK quarter circle forward TK, and then wait for it, and then another quarter circle forward punch for delay uh, air super, right? No. Okay. So um, an another input that I do is like I'll do. Uh, uh, what is it? So I'm Marco. I'll do um, half circle down back, mm -hmm. right? And then to get the JD for down back and then down forward for the DP. That doesn't store unless it I get the JD on the down back. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, it was, it was, uh, there's, it's kind of weird not being able to have all these extra buffers because I'm so used to it in uh, Mark of the Wolves. And I'm kind of like, damn, I wish I could just get it because I, I do want – so in Mark of the Wolves, it's just to your benefit to just get the, the DP and break anyways, you know? That's so, interesting, though. So the fact that it only comes out – you only get the buffer and the JD was so weird. And Gibby was the one that pointed it out immediately. He was like, he was like oh, that's only in a buffer. And I'm like, huh, interesting. Um, the, the way I went into the game – uh, I, and, and I talk about this quite a bit for, for years. Uh, Nock and I have talked about the ways to balance Mark of the Wolves or like a sequel mm -hmm. or whatever, all that dumb stuff. Um, almost every idea that we've had that we said, oh, hey, this is what they should do. They should do this, 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 so on and so forth. It's almost exactly what they did. And I, I joked. I'm like, oh, you guys just stole, stole our ideas? Is that what you did? And they, <laughs> they just, Otis on laughed at me. 
Um, but for the most part, uh, the game at its core is very Mark of the Wolves. Uh, it has elements from KOF. It has elements from Street Fighter now. Um, but it, if you want to get a quick grasp of the game, it is Mark of the Wolves. It is not the same game, though. Um, if you're going into it trying to play Mark of the Wolves, it's getting, you're not going to have uh, a very good time. You have to adjust to the, the, the new mechanics of the new system. I do think that the buffer thing is going to be a bit of a hurdle for a lot of people. I feel like I'm going to miss that, yeah. Because... Yeah. I know other players buffer way more stuff than I do. Like, um, and I wonder how that's going to affect those kind of players. It's going to be um, a big deal. Um, so, yeah, it's not just that buffer. Uh, just offending input timing is not the same as it was in Mark of the Wolves. Uh, you have le less, uh, I, don't, I don't know the exact frame data, of course, but there's fewer frames to just offend. Uh, fewer, fewer frames to guard cancel. Um, there's no more, in, like, invulnerable breakable DPs. Uh, invulnerable breakable attack. You don't have that anymore. Um, if you have an invulnerable attack, it's going to be your light DP and your heavy is going to be breakable. Um, the thing that threw me off, uh, I play SNK layout like the uh, A, B, A, B, C, D, not rainbow, box. Yeah. Um, yeah, ra rainbow. I hate that term, but yeah. Um, I play that layout and this, game, this new game has a fifth button and unfortunately I wasn't able to change my buttons. So it's box layout with the fifth button being Street Fighter Heavy Punch. Uh, fainting is, uh, what was it? It was C, right? It was C and E. C, D? Abe, you're muted. Can you hear Abe? Sorry, I was saying that for, for faints, um, I don't like the way that's for box either. Like, I might have to map that or... So the that's the that. thing that I was trying to... Uh, I wrote it in the, the guide that I wrote after mm. the SWC footage came out. And mo most of what I wrote was uh, not, not most, almost everything I wrote was accurate, but feel like trying to get the muscle memory from Mark of the Wolves away into this was very difficult. I think that's going to be the downside mm. for people who play Mark of the Wolves. Um, Cause your fifth button now is your utility button. You use faint and you use it for high and low evasion attacks. And High low evasion, I think, is e, I'm gonna say E, E and D, and fainting is C and E, if I remember right. A C and E essentially replacing what they had for like because they had the command overhead and market wolves and they had the command. No, so, and sorry, air. it's 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 the opposite way. Fainting is D and E, it's heavy kick and E, and then uh, the high low evasion attacks are C and E. And it's, it's so you hit C and E to do the high evasion attack, uh, or sorry, the low evasion attack like the hop. And you mm. down C and E to do the, the anti air. What what is E? What are you uh, referring the, to? The rev button, the utility button. Rev button. Rev button. Yeah. Okay. Rev. So for for those who don't know, essentially the way the game is, it's, it's these four buttons, right? Punch, punch, kick, kick, A, B, C, D. But then R one is your utility button. Um, on stick, you know, it's, it's different. But uh, your your button combinations are like you, you do that, you do this. Um, there's E X buttons. I don't think a, a and B is throw. I don't, and then C and D is uh, what's it called? Um, rev low. And so, they had to change it because there's uh, EX moves rev, now. Rev arts. Yeah, rev so, arts. All right, check this out. Let me see. Can you see this? All right. This is like Gibby was saying. This is your utility button in the box, like you know A A B A B C D, right? This is your break, this is your top attack, and this is like your modifier, basically. Like, if you're trying <laughs> to do, uh, like, feints and stuff. But, I don't know, man. I couldn't get used to doing feints. It was, like, too much. I was like, this is, uh, a you lot know, going on here. You think it was hard for you? Imagine me. I've been fainting the same way for 25 years now. And now all You have a, a very like... specific thing. So... You, the way yeah, you do it painting, so. doesn't doesn't go into modern times very well. You're not like saying I'm gliding crazy. into the current times. No, because I play box, and you know it caters. A lot of the games have catered to box, right? Um, even Pretty this is kind of weird. Yeah, I can't I can't do box in any game. Um, mm. uh, it's uh, I put out a tweet during Summer Game Fest. I'm like, someone teach me how to play box, please. Um, I I cannot. 
unfortunately. Oh, yeah. If, if you guys were following his account at the time, that's what it's referring to. It's like, we're at Summer Games Fest. He's like, oh, my God, Fox. Um, yeah. But so mechanics aside, um, I think everybody took to the game very well. It was ex an extremely positive. Uh, no one had anything negative to say about the game at all. Um, people liked the fact that the game had slowdown. Uh, with when you do the um, uh, the high evasion, low evasion attacks, um, people mm. like the wild uh, the wild punish. Um, wild punish is pretty cool. So to get back into like how that works, so you do like the uh, overhead or the uh, what was it the anti air invol move. You do either one of those in a certain situation, a certain frame or whatever, it slows down and allows for a full combo. Yeah. Uh, when we get into the videos, you'll be able to see, we'll be able to describe it better. But yeah. it's pretty sick, man. Like being able to do uh, those follow ups after that and like the slowdown is, it's a, uh, man, honestly, shout outs to Tekken for showing us the way. <laughs> so it turns out slowdowns are pretty sick. Slowdowns are sick. I like that they happen yeah. in the middle of the match. Um, I saw some people at the event were saying that Grand Blue does the same thing. Um, oh, really? I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I haven't seen it in Grand Blue. Um, but maybe I should watch more Grand Blue. Uh, slowdowns were in... So the slowdown stuff was in uh, some of the footage from the SWC build, yes. Um, everything that was in... That build looks like it's it's in here now. There were some mi minor modifications. Uh, you can no longer just defend when you're in a overheat. So it makes it harder. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, it makes that's it harder for your overheat to uh, go down. You have to attack them, and you just have to run at them. But your overheat uh, meter uh, cools down much quicker now. If you get mm. guard broken in it, uh, your overheat also resets to zero. Um. And, and it's weird. It, I mean, yeah, getting guard broken seems like a big deal, but it resets your overheat. So maybe get guard broken if the per, if the the person you're fighting doesn't have a whole lot of utilities. You cannot hyper defend either. Um, you lose you lose access to almost every mechanic in the game. That's uh, unique to City of the Wolves. That's pretty brutal, bro. <laughs> so it is, it is really bad. Yeah. So one second, give me one second. Um, so. One thing that you pointed out, and maybe I'm misremembering, but you pointed it out to me, so you probably remember, you definitely remember this. When you get guard broken, do you get meter when you recover? No, when you recover, you regain all of your your uh, rep meter. So if, if you're at 100% overheat and someone... Do you remember... Broken. Okay, explain this, because you explained something to me, and this had to do with guard break. You were looking at the bottom where it has the, the stars, right, for for supers? Yes. When you get guard broken, does that refill? No, the stars stay the same. Your your super meter stays the same, but your rev gauge goes to zero. What were you trying to point out to me that one time? That, that's Remember? What I, that's what I was pointing out to you. That it doesn't go that, away? That it, so when you get guard crushed, you're rewarded by your rev meter getting reset to zero. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. You're still going to get crazy damage probably. But. Yeah, you, you'll likely get big damage, but... It's still sending you back to zero. Did Chris's camera freeze? Yeah, I was going to say, uh, it froze a while ago, but I didn't want to mess with it because I didn't want to. <laughs> uh... I'm like, wait. And it's a good pose, too. So I was like, hey, I'm not too mad about that. It looks like I'm really admiring my pecs. He's, you know? he's tweeting, are... bro. He's getting yeah, his tweets out. You're, making him like, dance, bro. Like... You are very focused right now. <laughs> um, Abe, how do you... so you played Marco, and you play Marco yeah. and Mark of the Wolves. Um, yeah. how, how do you feel? Um. So initially, it's kind of bothered me that you couldn't do a follow-up after counters, right? That was just, like, first thing I know. I was like, hmm. But that was pretty good in Mark of the Wolves. At least I thought so. <laughs> it's like, I mean, you get a counter. It's like you rip. You can rip half damage. Yeah, more, that was great. More in top, I think. Awesome. I'm, I'm not sure. Like, if you have, uh, uh, what is it, P-Power? Is it more than 50% if you're in top? Yeah. It was a lot. If it, it felt like a lot, you get a counter and it's pretty beefy. Um, in this one, you don't get any follow ups, um, but it's it's pretty good in the same way that it has pretty decent active frames and all that. So that was fine. Uh, but that was like the first initial thing that without having any time with the character, I was like, oh, I don't know. Um, he seems really good, though. Like 
he has very basic combos you can do that can do a lot of damage. And if you want to get crazy, he looks sick, bro. If you go back to the trailer, there's this combo he does where he does uh, what is it? Whatever normal into ex countered ex fireball e ex counter dash into dp break into ex dp break into hien break into ex hien break into level two super <laughs> it just looks so sick mm -hmm. bro <laughs> dude it's it's really dope like he has some like just like on a visual level and like the the types of stuff you can do with him uh he's pretty dope man um he has really easy access to a dp break in general you can do like a crouch crouch b crouch a into cdp break and then you go into your sequence of whatever it is that you're gonna do and land a super or land whatever really especially in the corner um this feels like if you like shotos he's like definitely go to you should feel comfortable with that character very quickly and feel mm -hmm. badass i mean he looks so sick like the game itself the attention it was getting in the corner where we're at everybody was staring at it everybody came over if there were open um stations that somebody could come and play everybody was asking um there was a lot of appointments oh, chris, that got chris, booked chris, chris. <laughs> don't do that chris <laughs> what's it doing um turn your camera back on i didn't do anything to it turn your camera back on I, it is on it's off right now uh turn it off and turn it back right. on well, no, everything got messed up. Hell pockets is Abe. Abe is Hell pockets. It's not, uh -oh. now, and now it's just constantly loading. Yeah, I hadn't done anything. It, 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 it looks like it's trying to cycle through like available like inputs. For yeah, that's reason. that's what it was doing. Um, oh, come on, that's not good. So, yeah, everybody was looking forward to just trying to play the game. Unfortunately, it was appointment only. Um, so there was already a set list of people who could play, but some people were able to show up and like, oh hey, Abe didn't show up. Can I jump in? And that's kind of what happened. Um. So let me answer some of these questions real quick. Hold on. Uh, ex handbrake, yes, is probably only good for a juggle that you're doing something really fast, like a uh, level two super. Um, and that's like the 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 last hit of the third one is where you break. Um, charge special. Honestly, I barely use those, so I'm not sure. Gibby, do you have any the, experience so with I, charge I didn't, specials in the new I didn't one? utilize him too much but his charge mm -hmm. specials were uh very good for guard canceling mm -hmm. um and this in this particular build i don't know what, what, he wasn't playable at evo japan was he no no he wasn't so. he was now at evo japan no. so um guard canceling in this game is different uh because you don't have uh, any invulnerable attacks other than certain supers and mm -hmm. your um light dp whatever you want to say it is um mm -hmm. guard you have to time your guard cancel right you can't just like i don't know like in mark of the wolves terry guard cancel into dp mm. that doesn't work in this terry's gonna uh terry's gonna get beat out of it the amount of guard cancels i got beat out of being so confused like what's happening uh, i think <laughs> i think marco uh his his ex um ex charge kick in particular was a very good uh guard cancel move Oh, really? Yeah. See, I didn't even think about trying those moves, yeah. I was trying, at, like, I only played them for, like, maybe five minutes, I think. But I was trying, mm -hmm. like, okay, how, how does this work? How does that work? I wanted to compare, I wanted to compare the character's feel from Mark of the Wolves to this. Mm -hmm. um, and since I'm familiar with all of them, it was, I couldn't get a, a feel for Preacha. Uh, in all honesty, I didn't yeah, try I mean either, Preacha. Yeah. Uh, Vox, Vox is Grant and Light, essentially. Uh, Vox is... He has he has combos, uh, cancels and everything, unlike Grant. But his stand D is his is his go to. Like with Grant, stand D crouch A works, right? Same thing with Vox. Um, you can do Grant combos with um, Vox, and it's very nice. Um, I, his he, his buttons f function the same way as Grant's. His stand A, crouch A, stand B. His far C is similar to Grant's far C. Um, his far D looks good. But it wasn't very good in the grand scheme of things. One one thing though, that far C cancel is very rock like. So yes. you can hit confirm far C like if you for you fourteen or fifteen players that are used to like long windows of uh 
cancellation, these guys can still do that. So he could do Farsi into you start your damage and you go nuts. And Rock still has that. And um, Marco does not have a cancelable Farsi. Um, second hit is cancelable in this, though, which is pretty cool. Like Marco's second, like the close double punch. Uh, oh, really big thing I think we need to point out is the throw range and how oh. that's going to play into this. <laughs> so so the, the, the two hitting close C, it, I thought was really good because of like, you could really play that that strike throw game with that really well. Cause it's, you know, you just basically sit in that range where it's like, I think I'm gonna get thrown. And then you get, get the double punch and you just cancel into it. So, that was actually throw. something else I wanted to point out because like this game seems to lean in on the characters who had close heavies that hit twice. And in Mark of the Wolves, you had to cancel on the first hit, I think, every yes. time. In this game, it looks like that's gone now. That is Not only is yeah. that gone, but characters who had command strings, like Terry, close C, close C, um, you couldn't combo. You could link off of that, but you couldn't. Com you could not cancel. But now that is cancelable. Yeah. So with Terry, um, Terry's a uh, second. It's stand C forward C. The forward C now you can you can that's that's your combo starter with Terry. Almost everyone's like two hit uh, string is their combo starter. Um, awesome. There are no zero frame supers at all. No super felt even close to being like a three frame starter. In all honesty, um, it's pretty easy to beat people out of supers. Um, Rev Blow was beating supers easy. Uh, it was also absorbing uh, supers in a lot of cases. The the guard point to it. Um, Rev Blows are very strong right now. Extremely Bro, strong. Were they this safe in the older videos? Did they look because th like I don't know. I can't I, tell you. It felt pretty safe in this build. Like some of the people I was playing, they're just mashing. I had a mm. hard time laying a button on them like even like marcos when i did marcos it felt like it wasn't punishable maybe like super could punish or something like that maybe um but it's definitely one of those things that you're gonna be able to just rip um i guess kind of like the same similar function of how it is in street fighter 6 where it's like encouraged to yeah. use um yeah so that it is very strong and mm -hmm. then when you're watching people who don't know how to play but they found how to use that button it was hilarious to watch because it was just beating everything it was like whoa this is really good i've definitely seen yeah. some stuff where like people reacted to a slow startup move uh with rev blow and it was usually it was actually after they had pressed the button and they were just like panic rev blowed and it, it, it netted them not only damage but it put the opponent in a crumple state and i'm like oh that's definitely gonna get some uh some spicy takes yeah. In 2025. Uh, Mash into Revlo. You can uh, you can faint almost every button. Um, the only it seems there's more instances in this game where hit and block make a difference. Um, much like Mark of the Wolves, you can't you can't cancel anything when you do a um, higher low evasion attack uh, unless they hit. Um, there were certain attacks on block that I could not faint at all. Crou uh, Vox's Crouch C was one of them. Um, but I, I was able to feint it a couple times during um, uh, hit. So is it going to be like that for everyone? I'm not sure. But for the most part, almost every attack that, that I tested out was you could feint with it. But it's not a good idea. Feints are not very strong in this. Feints in this game are... They are combo extenders, but you only maybe get one hit off of it. Instead of, like say, like Mark of the Bulls where, I don't know, like Terry can get, what, four hits... Three uh, four, corner, yeah. uh, five technically. Um, or if you're if you're using a, if you're using um tool assist, you can get a billion. I don't know, but there's a lot of pushback. Yeah, there's a lot of pushback on feints now. Uh, fainting is done three different ways. It's either forward, uh, what was it? Forward D D E down D E or just neutral D E. So every character has two or three feints. Um, Terry now has crack shot feint. Which he didn't have in, you know, Mark of the Wolves. Mm -hmm. I, well, I forgot what Marco's additional feint was. Oh, okay. So, so Marco can feint both yens, right? Light and heavy. No, no, not, um, not break. Feints. Feints. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. But they still, that's good to know, guys. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. Um, and EX. So, if, if you can break 
so n n if you can break anything, you can break the EX version of it. I don't remember. So you said you could break the light again? If it hits, yes. So, it so here's the thing. So uh, Terry has this too, where like you can break uh, the light hien on whiff, right? I think I think if you're too close, it'll just automatic. The animation just completes itself. So it's kind of like like a like like an actual faint, like trying to uh, what's it called? Bait somebody into doing something, mm -hmm. right? If you're far away, it the the little faint kind of jumps forward, like a, like a, like a short little hit, and then it stops. But if you're at a certain range, it'll complete the motion, like like the move is supposed to be. And I know Terry's is like that too, because you get a certain range and the whole hit comes out. And like, I don't know about Terry, but I know for Marco, I'm pretty sure he's punishable. Like, he, you could actually get a full combo off of that. Is that a break? Huh? Is that a break that he's doing? Because he and you said he and Fane or he and break. He sorry, he and break, but. Okay. It's like a feint in the way that it's kind of oh, like yeah, baiting yeah. you. It's like, yeah. it seems like that's the function of why you would do that. Mm -hmm. Of like, oh, he did a move and then I want to do something. Um, or you could use it to like close distance and build meter. But I feel like for, for Marco, you probably would want to just do counter because uh, it moves further. I think it's, got, it's like basically a command dash, right? Yeah. yeah I mean, that's how it's using uh, Marco, Marco the Wolves to, as well. Yeah. So. Yeah, there's like weird little things like that that are new to the game. Um, oh, there was something else I really wanted to point out that was important. Maybe I'll remember what it is. So I got a question. Uh, uh, a lot of people have been concerned with uh, feature bloat in this game because there's a lot going on uh, subsystem wise. And. I know you said everybody that touched it at Summer Game Fest had nothing but positive things to say about that. Mm -hmm. um, but do you foresee possibly that being a thing in the future? Because we've already seen that they've had to change the way we do feints because they added rev, uh, rev arts. Um, and we also have the rev guard option, which they are still tweaking clearly because it pushes back more than it did during the uh, SWC build. Um so yeah, I just wanted to know like if that's something that you think we should be concerned about, or are they balancing it uh, correctly so far? I think uh, yes, there are a lot of features, um, and I can't really say because I haven't played enough or seen people get comfortable enough to use all the features like to any degree of a high level. Like I can't even tell you where rev uh rev guard would be useful um like super useful where it's like oh i'm definitely using rev guard in this situation i can't tell you that at all like um you could just use it i guess just because you're like you want a little bit of room but i we never got that deep with the game and it seems like the other players that played didn't really get that deep either um however where rev guard may be useful is the fact that and give you could back me up on this so Cross-ups are way easier to do. Awesome. They, yeah. they, they give you pretty liberal distances to activate cross-up. So in Mark of the Wolves, I had, like, I still am not consistent with doing cross-ups with Marco. And I know Manchester is, and I know other people that play the game have become consistent. But it's, like, easy. Like, it's not, doesn't require super hard spacing to get that off. And I that that's a, another thing, right? With like the the DP breaks being a lot easier, and being able to do that, it's like okay, so it's like the things I want to do, it's just a lot easier to execute them. That's one of them. That's one of the quality of life stuff that I like. Um, but maybe because cross ups are a lot easier, maybe Rev Guard will be more important in this game to be like I just don't want to yeah. deal with this mix up. Rev Guard is going to be extremely important um, at all levels of play. Um, with how far it pushes the opponent back, um, and the way the way you, you utilize it as well. You, so, if you just hold down the button, it drains like or it cranks up rather your um, uh, rev gauge. Where if you just tap it here and there, it barely brings it up. So that's that's how it's going to be used. It's going to be used like a just defend in a sense, where if you don't want to actually time your just defend, you time with the the opponent's hits with your rev guard, and you push them back so far after just a couple hits. Um, you can't get cross up with rev guard like you mentioned. Um, what else was it that rev uh, it it makes 
it makes you safe to get away. It, le- it lets you reset your offense or defense or whatever you want to say. Mm. Um, what was the other thing? Uh, the you mentioned the throw tech or throw window earlier. Uh, I don't think you brought throw tech. Um, the throw tech window I throws, did not. Throw. So throw tech window is huge. Um, your throw range, I'm not joking, is like about that big, like if that. Um, you 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 have to be like up close on them to throw them, but throw tech. Um, it, I, I'm not even gonna say frames again, but it, you have like half a second to take a throw. It's very liberal, and no matter where you are on the screen, it takes both characters and blows them back from each other, and you're you're at basically round start. Uh, distance, oh, even in the corner. That, that is really important, actually. Um, the distance of the throw break. You know how like you play KOF and like a throw break is not fair in certain situations. Like, yeah. like you get put into a super disadvantage. Right, I just gotta eat. Basically, put into a mix up afterwards, where I gotta eat like uh whatever the the follow up button of like kill can do like stand C mm. or something whatever. This tries to make it so you're in as neutral a situation as possible, no matter where you are on the screen. You get pushed back pretty far, and honestly, I haven't seen that in a SNK game, um, and I liked it. <laughs> I was like, okay, finally, I don't, I don't, because I feel like borderline rewarded for getting the break which is you know you beat the mix up so it's like all right cool let's set it let's set it to actual neutral where it's like okay you broke the mix up but here comes another mix up <laughs> in other games right. so i mean you know that's preference of course like other people may feel like no nah, you should be able to dunk on them with offense but yeah that's the case so far i think that's fair because what i've seen so far is like offense is really good in this game like you touch somebody in this game, and there's like a lot you can you can do to them for damage. Well, um, um, just 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 to sorry to cut you off with this, but Mark of the Wolves is the same way. Um, offense was very strong, but defense was stronger, and this yeah. game gives you more defensive tools. Um, it may feel and seem harder to do things, but the fact that hyper defense exists mm, and exactly hyper defense isn't. They they kept saying it's a two, it, and it probably is a two frame window, but it's mm. not terribly difficult to do. Um, the there was some something people kept saying. Well, I saw a lot of people saying it when you hyper defend, it auto just defends the rest of the string. Uh, that's not mm. true. Um, wow. <laughs> hi, hyper defending does give you more of a window to do things. Um, so just defend the game doesn't slow down at all. When you hyper defend, it it slows down your opponent for like. I don't know, like a few a few additional frames for you to do something. It's like the reverse of a wild punish. Or not the reverse. It's the same concept as a wild punish. Wild punish gives you a few additional frames to do something. Whereas Afterwards. that's what yeah, 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 yeah. and that's what hyper defense does too. When you hyper defend, you have more time to execute a move than you would if you were to just defend. Or could you just you, go into just defend after that. Could you put some type of frame of reference of difficulty as to like what this is close to being like for hyper defense? To give everybody else an idea, oh. Be- because because like sometimes, for example, like I talk to you and you say something's easy, and I'm like, that's not that easy. <laughs> so <laughs> it's it's not like easy, easy, right? Mm. Um, so uh, you don't see red parries terribly often in third strike, right? And mm. that's that's the mechanic this is being compared to the most because it functions identically as a red parry. You go mm-hmm. from block, press forward within a two frame window. Yeah. Um. um you lose, and again, just like third strike, you lose your absolute guard. So if you screw it up, you get hit. Um, mm-hmm. I can't red parry very well in third strike. I I was doing it very consistently in this. Um, when I say easy, I mean re- relative compared to like with time. You feel like with time, yeah, people with, will with, be oh, able 100% to do this. With time, people are going to yeah. do it, especially when, when you know when a game gets broken down to a certain point. And you you fight people. They have the same strings, all that kind of stuff. Once mm-hmm. they start doing the same guard strings on you, you're you're gonna know when to throw out yeah. your uh, hyper defend. And I'm assuming people, because we don't have training mode, <laughs> like when we're at yeah, uh, Summer no. Games Fest. I'm assuming that when people have training mode, that they will grind out if they need to for hours to get that timing down. Yes, especially after like a month of playing. So. 
funny funny thing about the game feel okay let's let's give a little bit of time to the game feel the game does feel heavy but like in a good way and i do feel like the game was responsive it was also felt like a weighty game but it was snappy and that's a lot of people's initial reaction to the game Mm -hmm. granted a lot of the people that were there weren't expert fighting game players but i also had the same initial feel of playing the game like the game feels good the game feels good. It takes a bit to adjust because it feels, it feels chunky. Mm-hmm. I think that's that's the word I would. I would use agree here. on that. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say it doesn't feel responsive. It feels it feels very responsive, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, I think so. Uh, my first take at it was like, oh, this isn't working. This isn't working. The reason it wasn't very responsive when I first first got my hands on it is because I was using Mark of the Wolves timing. Um, you're supposed to slow with that. It's slower than Mark of the Wolves. Uh, co- combo, execution, strings, everything has to be done just a little bit slower. Not too much. Just slow enough to adjust for the new system. Mm-hmm. How, do you, how do you think? Do you think that's uh, is that the same for you? Uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty on board for the same take. Um, it felt really good. Like playing characters like Marco felt like snappy and heavy and like he should be felt like he was when you hit hard, like, I, like, I don't know, man. And like on top of that, like the animations and the way that the game incorporates, like kind of like zoom ins and like shakes and stuff, which is, was, was great in Mark of the Wolves too. Right. Like they had a really good way of showing like an impact or something. Um, yeah, inputs felt responsive. I mean, the game, the monitors we were playing on, like they were like, they weren't fighting game monitors, right? But it still felt good. So I'm assuming there was a certain amount of lag on those TV monitors. So I wonder what it feels like on like an elite fighting game player setup. Oh man, like my my two two forty hertz setup right here that I got with my my Jesus. customized. Com- yeah, uh, I was gonna say, yeah. Y'all I've, I've been wondering. There. So the the they were using like Samsung Q90 something. Uh, mm. It felt good. It, it honestly like you there there was most certainly a, like very minimal input delay on there, but it wasn't super noticeable. Um, I, I made sure to check with the people playing as well, particularly Justin Max. Uh, Justin felt the same way I did. Is like it's it's there, but it's not. It's nothing. Like it's it, it is it was legitimately like it's like I don't, I'm gonna say one frame. I don't know frame wise, but it was it was not noticeable unless you're looking for it yeah we were able to react to just defend things guard cancel it was it, it all it was all fine um in terms of like the game feel it feel uh, yeah like i said earlier it feels chunkier feels weightier um in mark of the wolves you have a floaty jump um everyone's jump feels a bit floaty in mark of the wolves like you're in the air quite a bit um this doesn't feel that way. This feels like you fall quicker. You're not in the air as long. Does the game run at 120, um, 120 frames or 120 hertz? Because 120 hertz, I'm gonna say yes. 120 frames, I I couldn't tell you. Uh, executing hops felt a lot easier. Oh, that, actually, that's that's a big thing. Um, hops yeah, and jumps. For that too, right? Yeah. So there there is uh, rev. You hold the rev button, and then you up, back, up, forward, up. You get a hop, right? Um, you also, if you press back, you get back, dash, forward. You get run or whatever your maneuverability move is. Um, we were testing out Instant Air Just Defend. See if it still exists in this game. Um, it it does, but it's different. Um, the way short hop works now is you have to hold, um, like you have to hold, I don't know, like up, back for X amount of frames. I don't know how many frames. But if you hold it, if you hold it for too many frames, you're gonna get a jump, right? If you try to do traditional Mark of the Wolves instant air just defend, where you just like, like essentially up back and then slide to down back, um, you're gonna get a short hop. 100% of the time, you'll get a short hop. You have to hold up back for a little bit, and then you have to do the next two motions, uh, the back and the down, um, and. You, you don't necessarily get the same type of instant air just defend where as soon as you leave the ground, you get it. It's you get it at a certain height. Um, once the short hop is, is done. So you can't necessarily do it in this current build. Will that get changed in, in future builds? I don't know. Some of the, some of the people, 
uh, some of the people working on this game want it to be great. They really want this game to be very good. And they want to try to stray away from the things that made Mark of the Wolves too unbalanced or too, like, too unfair in certain situations. I don't know how that's gonna how that's gonna work, but I know at high level, if you if I can instant air just defend everything, what's 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 the wake up option? I was gonna jump and instant air JD, um, stuff like that. If you watch high level Mark of the Wolves, you see you see a lot of the same things over and over. I think they want to try to avoid that. How? I I don't, I don't know. I I don't know what direction they're gonna want to go in, but they're saying that they're using Mark like they're using stuff from Mark of the Wolves to make this game better mm. that's good yeah i think it's a very good good sign and it's funny because talking to orasan he he knows he's like oh yeah uh this was pretty bad mark of the wolves i'm like oh yeah was it <laughs> i like doing that and i was and i asked him like hey how come i can't get all these faints with terry well what the hell and he's like ah oh, faint faints too strong no more faints i'm like no <laughs> i want more faints <laughs> We want two people playing the game at all times, man. Yeah. I'll say it, doing feints looks so sick, bro. Um, you, you know, so so something we were talking about, too, was like, man, um, when you play Mark of the Wolves, doing, like, the sick stuff, like the sick breaks and the sick faint cancels and stuff, it's so satisfying. Mm -hmm. Like, that, that that's something that... I always appreciate it about that game, right? Like you see somebody rip a fat Terry combo um, off of like a down B <laughs> and they're like, damn, that's nice. <laughs> you know, or like, um, I don't know, somebody playing Kevin like you and doing, well, what's the, what's the, uh, the coin phrase or the, uh, the phrase people throw around all the time when we're talking rotor, rotor cancels? cancels. Yeah. Oh, no, it's good. The rotor cancels. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it looks really satisfying. And I, I feel like in this game, too, obviously on like a, what's it called? Uh, like just on a visual point. It just, look, man, things just look so good in this game. Like in person, I'm telling you guys, it looks even better. And I like the way that it looks um, when you're watching a YouTube video or whatever. Mm -hmm. But like I've never been able to see this in person. First time ever. Like how big is the screen, Gibby? It's uh, oh, that was a sixty-inch screen, sixty-five inch. Sixty screen inch. We were playing on. Yeah. Never seen it like this on a high-definition television, and it was, in my opinion, murdering everything on that show floor where we were at. It was vibrant. It looked beautiful. Everybody came over to look at it. Mm -hmm. People, if they got a chance, I mean, we had the Phantom Blade people, Chris, across the way. Yes. Hey, Phantom Blade. <laughs> and, and that game looked really good too. Yeah. But. All the people working over there came over here whenever they had a chance to come yeah. and test the game. I think oh, I think that was real? a fun thing. Yeah. We, so we had people from the Hyperlight Breaker booth and people from the Phantom. Hyperlight Breaker was there. Hyper, yeah, they were right next to us. So we, yeah, right. it, was, it was us. It was us. A Hello Kitty game. Uh, what, what, they just what, announced oh, that man. yesterday yeah. on the Nintendo Direct. The, yeah. That one. Yeah, Phantom Zero and uh, Hyperlight Breaker. They they were those surrounding booths. But we had people from the entire hall that we were in just swinging by. And go, man, this game looks so good. It looks amazing and everyone has said the same thing like the the videos that you see online they don't do it justice i think the best the closest you're gonna see to what the game actually looks like in person is watching max's videos um mm, yeah, max yeah, has yeah. like if you want to see just visually see what the game is go watch maximilian's videos he recorded it at that 4k it looks phenomenal especially compared to everyone else's footage like mm -hmm. J justin recorded at 4k too but it, uh, it doesn't seem like all 4K is equal. I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> you, get, you get the max button. There's some yeah. the settings in there that you can tweak around. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what it is. Max, I mean, Max has been doing this for years. He, he knows what he's doing. But he has the best-looking footage. And in all honesty, mechanics-wise, if you're trying to see mechanic stuff, Max has a lot of the mechanics recorded. Yeah. Um, some of it uh, – Abe, I think you – were you playing him in some of that footage? Um, I don't know if he put up specifically, but he did edit some parts that – um i was in but it was brief you know he played here's the thing max got a lot of time in the game and it played to all our benefit mm -hmm. because homeboy was basically like the fifth member of the snk team because <laughs> he started getting so much time and so comfortable that he was getting better at describing it to the other people that are coming over and trying the game and playing with him yeah he 
uh, everyone likes to talk like just trash Max for things. This man picked up this game within 30 minutes, an hour, was learning things, and kept learning mm -hmm. as time went on. But the most important thing he did was like, hey, sit down with me. Play this mm -hmm. game. Um, and he his main focus was most certainly rock. But mm -hmm. he's like, hey, I've been watching other people play Marco. I've been watching other people play Terry. This is what you should be doing. This is how you should be doing. This is how this works. This is how that works. I sat down with him to test out certain, uh, certain mechanics in the game. Uh, ju just defending, guard canceling, hyper defense canceling, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I know some of that made it in his videos, but watching him and all the people that he was like teaching, like he was teaching people how to play the game better than most most like fighting game people teach the game. Like he was actually being a teacher and like nurturing. It was it was very nice to see. Well, here was the good thing, especially for us, is like he was speaking in terms that would make sense to the people of that audience that were there. Right. Like we're over here throwing all types of lingo that you'd have to play Mark of the Wolves to understand what we're talking about. And it was hard for us to like revert to normal speak and be like, because I remember I was talking to Max and I was like, sorry, hard punch, whatever would be like the heavier punch, use that punch and whatever. And he was just like, because he doesn't have that issue because he doesn't play Mark of the Wolves like that, um, was able to explain it so much better in certain aspects. And then he basically became like our avatar at one point <laughs> where it was like, hey, Max, why don't you try this? I want to see if this works. And he'd be able to execute it faster than we did if we just sat down trying it. So there's like some really good Marco footage in there where he's like exploring combos and stuff. I don't know if he uh, like uploaded that raw or what he did, but at least for himself, he definitely has a bunch of stuff of exploring that character. I know he messed around with Vox, but just my personal experience with him going through Marco, I was excited him seeing him try. So I was like, try this, try this, try this. I was like, damn, that looks sick. I can't pull it off, but he was doing it in matches. I was like, damn, that's tight. So, um, yeah, it was a really good experience having him there. I wish uh, we had more time to like be around like Justin and what he was doing and maybe get more matches. Mm -hmm. Cause, oh boy, in a match, he's already cooking. That that dude. He gave it to Tetsuro, bro. <laughs> oh, it was it was a wash. He was well the last match he played. They they were competitive the other match, but the when he landed that eighty five percent, I was like, whoa! Yeah, top he, at, up top. If you want to go see what Vox can do, watch Justin's footage. Um, mm. Just Justin did a good job of breaking down Vox, and I, I want to say he did Preacher as well. Um, oh, I did see the Vox video actually. He. He like explores the combos in the video. He's yes. like, "Oh, I was yeah. trying this. I was trying that. Oh, that works." Because I... you and I were were talking about how like breaks and like not breaks juggles work in the game. Yeah, and how you basically, if you have like a DP type break or whatever, you could continue to float for at least four times. Yes, yeah. like you do regular EX break, regular like like specifically Marco, uh, regular DP break, EX DP break, Hien break. Ex him break into if you have level two in the corner do something yeah. like, I think yeah. the the way the game works is instead like so in Mark of the Wolves you got one juggle like one juggle period right unless you got mm -hmm. a counter hit um, this is the same way kind of uh, but so sorry it works the same way with the counter hit the counter hit gives you an additional like the floaty counter hit gives you an additional um, juggle but mm -hmm. let's say I I do a CDP with Vox right and that launches you. I can get another mm -hmm. CDP, break it, and then EX DP break it, right? So if a move has a break point to it um, and it's juggleable, you can you can do the normal version of it and then the EX version of it and break both in the same combo. It allows you to do that uh, with uh, one basically one point of, one one attack or a CDP will have one point of juggle, and as soon as you use it, you can no longer use it in the combo again. So like again, like you said with Marco, uh, D Hien EX Hien. C, uh, DP, EX, DP, all that combos with each other because they each have one point, one point, of, uh, one point of juggle, so you can mm -hmm. just keep doing it. And then, what what do you end it with? Like right, and super projectile and whatever you want to go from there. Um, I imagine there's gear. branching paths in there with different characters because like some of the stuff I saw from the B J A trailer kind of looked like she's going to probably follow a very similar uh, flow of damage, but her moves also lend themselves better to juggling. I'm curious like, to see what she's going to be like. Like, mm -hmm. one of the things that I, I was curious about is, like, 
I don't know what some of the EXs do on block. Like, I want to know if I could do, like, stand C or close D with Marco into EX counter and just get, like, really in your face really fast. You have to be really quick to press a button or if it's, like, a literal block string I can do. Or I don't know. Like, things like that where it's, like, you, more deeper into the game. Like, how can I abuse this EX in that way? Like, stuff on block or just offensively? Not really like in a combo. Um, that's things after, like the day after. I was like, damn, I wish I got to try that out. See what exactly you net from like a blocked EX break DP or EX fireball. Like, is that plus? Like, EX fireball isn't like a, a full screen fireball with Marco. It's like this, like a really close spark thing that happens. And you could cancel into Rev Art, which Rev Art is your EX. Uh, so EXs cancel into EXs, right? No, this is EX Fireball, so it's like it, it's it's like the other Culkin from you know where it's like that, the, the yeah. short range, yeah. like yeah. not fully extended Fireball, yeah. Okay. And you can cancel that into so you do like EX Fireball if it hits, cancel that into EX Dash into DP, and that combos, right? Okay. EX Fireball, EX Counter Dash, DP, that combos, and you continue your structure. Um, block. I'm just curious what that does. What does ex fireball? Is it plus frames? Who knows? Is it is it like 13 where you do down ex fireball, down c no. ex fireball with real? You just get a a ton of meter or a ton of plus frames. I don't know. You know, does it guard break a lot? I didn't even wasn't even watching the guard meter. Like actually, given since you pay more attention to like how things operate on uh, on block, like do you think it's easier in this game to get a guard break or very, like easier to easy. find ways? Yeah. Hmm. So um. There were uh, some instances where I, I was watching people play, and you see, like, one string do, like, 70 80% guard crush damage. Jeez. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay. Um, guard crush is going to be very strong in this. Maybe um, that's where, where rev guard comes into play, where it's like you're going to see more, a but, lot more. But, but you, can't, you can't rev guard yeah, when rev you're, guard. When burned, you're out. Uh, burned out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Damn. That's what I'm saying. Like, being burned oh. out in this game sounds brutal, dude. Yeah. So, being so for, for those, and I, I mentioned this before, and I, I guess I was right. Uh, when you're in burnout, now you're playing Mark of the Wolves. Or burnout, sorry, overheat. Right? Yeah, overheat. Mm. Sorry, Street Fighter 6 mm. mechanics. Uh, um, I just, dude, I just realized when, that too. Damn. Yeah, when, when you're playing uh, over, when you're overheat, you are 100% playing Mark of the Wolves now. You lose all, you lose access to every city of the Wolves mechanic. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's gonna be fun, and you and you have to be on the offense to bring it down yeah. naturally. Yes. So the the game and you has have guilty less gear offensive tools. <laughs> yes. the The game has guilty gear positive bonus essentially, but instead of giving you meter, it just reduces your your rev gauge quicker. And I keep doing this because you know that's what the gauge does, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah. What What else was it? Um. It works when you're when you're not in a overheat either, when you're running towards the opponent. Uh, you'll see your rev gauge go down. You hit the opponent, your rev gauge goes down. Um, you block, it goes up. So you want to try to be on offense as much as possible. And mm. when you're in overheat, it's like, well, what, what do you do now? How do you mount your offense? Because like in Street Fighter 6... tell you, do not block. Uh, yeah. And Street Fighter 6, when when you're in burnout, uh, what, what almost always happens, you're, you're trying to stay away from the opponent until you yeah. gain all your stuff back. Um, Bro, imagine being stacked and you're playing against somebody that is also in SPG, and you got to deal with uh, the entirety of what City of the Wolves has to offer. Yeah, bro, oh, that's you. You, you brutal. Can, you cannot just defend on this build. In the SWC build, you were able to just defend during overheat. And this current build, I don't know about Evil Japan, but this current build, you could not just defend. You can't you can't just defend or hybrid defend when you're. And just heat. defend was actually going. It actually lent itself to cooling off your rev guard, your rev gauge. Yes. Um, some other things I notice as well. Uh, I notice it with the SWC build. Um, just defending gives you back a certain gives you back different values of uh, rev meter. Sometimes it's two percent, five percent, eight percent. This one, um, it was it was the same thing. Uh, there was a point. I don't know if it got recorded, but when I was doing something with Max, I dropped fifteen percent. Uh, I don't remember if it was a throw tech or just defending a super, but I dropped fifteen percent in rev gauge just from from doing something. And we were trying to figure out what it was, and we couldn't we couldn't recreate it again. It does so feel. Go, go. Oh, go ahead. 
I was gonna say I was I was wondering like since it's so brutal to be in um an overheat that maybe they would have like let's say preferred techniques to utilize that will reduce your rev uh gauge quicker than anything else in your repertoire. So you could probably say, okay, I, I overheated. Uh, it's time to like space it out. Maybe let's say burn knuckle just cuts down 50%, 15% of your rev gauge. You just like spacing out some burn knuckles that are like relatively safe. And that would basically dictate the way you play offensively while, uh, while overheated. Versus like just trying to just hit buttons and get in your opponent's face when you have like no real offensive options. Mm-hmm. So I, I could see that being a and, and judging from what you're describing, that might be a thing because you said you dropped like fifteen percent and you weren't even sure what it did and nothing else you did dropped at fifteen percent. Yeah, but this this is while I still had rev meter, not while in overheat. Oh, okay. So in overheat, I mean, I, maybe so throw t- thro- again. There were times where throw techs drop rev meter like particularly throw text and throw throwing your opponent drops your rev meter as well it counts as an attack um sometimes i i gain back 10 percent rev meter sometimes i gain back five percent rev meter i don't know how much it gives you back um but i i do know uh it seems it also seems tied to your spg gauge or a uh, section because you you use less spg or you use less rev meter when you're in spg right so it gives you access to more combos, longer combos, stronger combos. Um, but you, it seems you also gain back more rev, more rev meter when you're in SPG as well, when you're just defending, when you're throwing, when you're hitting. So uh, I don't know. I I want I want to explore more. Like the the, the frustrating thing about being there. Uh, again, we were working. Um, I wanted to play. I wanted to sit down and play for like thir- just give me a thirty minute session so I could test certain mechanics. I just want to see how it works. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, the there there were a lot of things. Is throw tech available in, in RevGuard? Yes. Uh, this build I was I was I was able to do. Or sorry, I told Max to do it. I didn't do it. Um, RevGuard doesn't seem to uh weaken you in any way. RevGuard is all so far. RevGuard is all positive. Um, also, you so when you rev I mentioned earlier RevGuard back and forward gives you backdash and. Um. Oh, your forward movement thing, dash or run. Uh, if you press, if you hold forward and press the rev button, you get you get a dash. You hold back, press rev button, you get back dash, and it doesn't waste any any rev meter. Whereas if you press rev meter and forward, you lose rev meter, or you know what I mean. You gain rev. Gain meter. it. I, but it's I have a question as far as like throws go. So I know that the generic overhead will beat a throw and you'll get a wild punish. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So were you ever able to test and I, I definitely wasn't. I was just thinking about it after the fact. Were you able to test if when you do the universal overhead, are you like if you have it I know you can't test this, but if it was on the same frame, right, does the universal overhead beat the throw? And uh, cause a wild punish. So if I throw and you universal overhead at the same time? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. Um, I want to know that. <laughs> like, I want to know I think, how that works. I imagine with certain, if the character doesn't leave the ground frame one, yeah, that's what I then was 100%. Well, it's, well it's like Vox. You know, like, like Vox's yeah. overhead. Um, what is it? Because uh, I know you get wild punish. You, you When you throw, you can get punish or wild punish on throw. So assuming you don't leave the ground and you can get grabbed before you do, yeah, it, it would it would most likely be a uh, wild punish, because wild punish seems to activate um, from what what we were noticing during the active frames of a move, mm. not during the recovery frames, not during uh, startup frames. It seems we mainly got it during the active frames of a move. Um, so I'm I'm not I'm to be honest, I, I don't know. Uh, universal overhead is. Uh, uh, you're in Mark of the Wolves. Your your AB attack. Um, uh, universal overhead would be the like Vox's hop. Universal anti air would be um, Vo- what what does Vox has? He's got like a he gut like punch. A gut punch. Yeah. yeah. Um. The I think the official term for it is high evasion attack and low evasion attack. Um. And yeah, all, all they they seem to work just like they did in 
Mark of the Wolves. You can't cancel them unless you actually connect. Uh, there's oh the one thing that got me. There's no whiff canceling, and there's there's zero whiff cancels. There's zero car cancels so far. So I was actually wondering about that because I know I've I feel like I've seen something like that, mm-hmm. but it might have just been like the animation on the move ran out and reset to neutral before the special came out. Uh, maybe. Uh, cause yeah. I, I, I sat down and tested everything that like, Oh, this, cause every SNK game has like, Oh, check this out. Look, here's the start of my animation. Oops. I canceled it in something stupid. Yeah. Uh, this, no, this game does not do. have that. At least the current build doesn't have it. And I, I didn't see any of it in the videos from SWC. Um, I didn't see any of it from the evil Japan videos that I saw either. Okay. So I'm just going to assume it's not in the game, which is going to suck. Um, and what else is it? Does Rock have high evade whiff cancel? Um, I remember Max was trying it. He, uh, I couldn't remember if he if it if it worked or not. He was he was trying it quite a bit. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't use Rock as very much, but I know um uh, you can't you can't do anything else. You, there's no. Or, no, uh, in the video it shows Jenny doing backdash dive kick. Um, but you can't do backdash air like uh, what's his name? Vox can't do backdash dive kick. Vox can only do dive kick from a neutral jump and a forward jump. Uh, Ex dive kick he could do from any any angle. Okay. So it's 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 interesting seeing how. Oh, you still get that fatty counter hit too. Yes. You land the counter hit from dive, you get a full fat combo. Actually, counter hits in the game. I, I I mean, again, you played a lot more Mark of the Wolves than me, and you can compare it better. But it felt crazy. Like you fought had forever to land a fat combo with counter hit. They do the spin yeah. around still, right? Dude, the, but it just feels like a long time. So you still you still either get the, the massive launch or the the ground spin. Um, the oh, ground yeah. spin is harder to get because that's on counter hits that. If a special move leaves you grounded, right? Like say you, Terry's crack shot. Um, if you do that in, in Mark of the Wolves, you're you're still on the ground. You don't get like knocked into the air or knocked down. Any move that knocks you down will launch you. Any move that keeps you grounded will spin you. So okay. I'll give you an example of a big counter hit I got. Um, it was when Max did the rage run. He came across on the backside and did reverse DP. The DP dude, he flew to like the top of the screen. He's like just way up there and uh i you know wasn't super comfortable doing all the dp breaks ex breaks or whatever but bro you get what you get another dp another dp break like just like mark of the wolves right where you get a counter so you get dp you get another counter you do another dp and imagine how crazy that looks doing that many breaks that you can do you do two regular dps ex break like breaks, right yada 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 yeah, yeah. But it looks crazy, like, yeah, yeah. No, it looks like you would, you would unload on somebody for that. Yeah, and uh, with Marco, Marco gets very heavy corner carry in this game. Um, yeah, more than he got, way more than he got. Mark of the Wolves. Um, Vox gets a lot. Like Vox, almost everything he does gives you good corner carry. Um, so that that's something that that's something that's gonna affect the characters. I feel. Oh, ooh, also, uh, Abe, I'm sure you remember me complaining about this. Uh, mm. If you jump at someone in the corner, you uh, almost always I was like their backs to the corner. I jump at them and they're holding back. I jump over them. Mm. I don't uh, I don't know if that's I remember you complaining about it, but it, it yeah. happened so much. Uh, I got a bunch of cross ups in the corner too. Um, I don't know if that's uh, if that's just like oops, we don't have the corners like set yet, or if that's just intentional. Mm-hmm. Marco, so uh, Mar- Marco has invincible DP. What is it? Terry's light uh, power dunk. Marco's light DP. Vox's light DP. Uh, what was Rock's and rising tackle? Mm-hmm. And I think Preach's was her uh, her tiger kick move. Yes, yes, uh, yeah, I remember doing it actually. Yeah. And the light ones are not breakable. No. Okay. You can get wild punishes from them. Nice. Which can lead into you breaking the other version. 
Um, the thing that was hard for me to deal with is that, like in, in Mark of the Wolves, if I get a counter hit on you, I'm my brain's programmed. Oh, do do this. Like I'll, I'll go into it right away. And this, um, I didn't recognize the way the wild punish or the not the wild, the the, the big counters work. Um, it felt weird trying to capitalize on it. And again, I was playing box layout. I messed up a bunch of inputs. I kept jumping and trying to hit D, but I hit rev button over and over, and I hated it. So like, Abe can tell you, I was just like, <sighs> <laughs> a lot of the times. So I, I I had so much fun like tr trying out what what little I did. But mm -hmm. I couldn't fully immerse myself and enjoy the game because of the button layout. Mm -hmm. Are Super EXCPs bro. invulnerable? Uh, no, I don't believe they are. Um, they might say... In so the, the other thing is things will say invincible on it. But uh, what was it? Vox's ADP is invincible. It says invincible like on the side. Yeah, actually, I just noticed that too. When yeah. you just defend and guard cancel into it, you get beat out. So, hmm. oh, know. interesting. Oh, you did tell me that. Yeah. I remember you. I, I, I was, was, actually big, I was yeah. beating out your your Marco ADPs as well, because I was. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys notice on the side of the screen, it shows you everything: invulnerable, guard crush, uh, super, wake mm -hmm. up. It says everything that's happening, and every time it said invincible, I'm like, that wasn't invincible. That's not invincible. Yeah, uh, th this game does have KOF 11 button layout. Box layout is essentially playing like this: A, B, uh, A, B, C, D. I don't, I don't play like that. So, um, it's hard for my brain to pick it up. But uh, how much? Oh, I just realized. Wait, how much footage do we have? How long is the footage? I say there's a lot. There's a lot. I think they're pretty I, short I matches. I think I think we should probably pick to go over more like. Marco and Vox videos since there's a lot of preacher. Okay. Yeah, we don't really know much about preacher. I mean, well, the first video I have queued up is preacher. Um, I don't we know. We could watch that one. Against. Let's see. G give me a second. Let me let me transition yeah. over to that. Um, and while we do that, uh, Chris, go ahead and fix your camera. See if I can fix this. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to see if we can fix Pocket's camera. I can't open anything. Uh, I couldn't fix it because all my monitors are taken up. So I can't fix the issue. I'm sorry, everybody. I was going to put like a gag thing there, but it just unfortunately didn't work out. Um, so let's see here. This is Preacher versus Rock that I currently have queued up. I can switch it to something different if needed. We'll just knock that one out. It's already queued up. All right, let's see what you guys see it. Uh, I'm still trying to work on my camera right now. Oh, no. yeah, All right, she's doing the frame thing. Yeah, the frame thing. You're in, you're in frame. It's out of focus and then in frame. A lot of people like that at the show. They're like, wow, that's cool. Take you for a ride. And uh, Rock's a Marvel 2 player. <laughs> oh, there's a smart style. Okay. Yeah, see, so Rock is currently using smart style. Um, that means Rock can't break. I believe he can't faint either. The yeah, cross ups, big man. Cross -up? Yeah. Yeah, they're fat. You see that throw, hot whiffed? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. That looks so sick, man. Like, I really like the little shadows, uh, rev art cancels. I was going to say, how's wake up throw in this game? <laughs> uh, Bad. Yeah. Very I know bad. someone's going to be happy about that. Well, because you could basically do your entire offense because the throw range is pretty bad. So. It's not that big of an issue. Oh. It's, it's just not working, is it, Chris? Nah, it's just I, I don't know what happened to it. I think the uh, I'm gonna try unplugging some stuff now because. Try try this. Yeah. Open up open up your OBS. And my OBS. Yeah. See if it shows up there. Make your yeah make your camera full screen. Do virtual camera. Wow, was that is that? I think it is plus actually. Somebody did that to me. The Golden Hill move. Is it plus? Oh. It's good to know. Well, he just countered. This player just countered uh, Rock after the goal. Uh, we'll, we'll go back to it in a second. Take a look at it. Let me see where the footage is. Oh, no, it's not showing up on my OBS either. Oh, crap. Oh, it's your camera? It is the camera. Okay. It might have uh, decided to... Damn, this uh, peach is cooking. So, and um, S the way SPG works in this game, um, depending on where you have it on your meter, 
or in your life bar, you get more benefits. No. Oh. oh man, she could have killed him. You know, she can still guard crush him. Ah, oh, never mind. Don't want to get thrown. <laughs> never mind. Dude, I saw that that uh that rev art string, and I'm like, oh, she, he's dead. And then she did nothing. I'm like, ah, oh, what? Get ready. Fight. There's a lot of counter hitting in this game, by the way. Like mm -hmm. watching ev everyone playing, everything was was counter hit, counter hit, counter hit. You got that far C cancelable. Yep. You uh, 15 rock players gonna feel right at home oh, with that rock, one. Uh, so you guys know I'm not a big rock fan. He is very good in this. He has everything you need. What do they give him air shipuken for? What do they give him air double shipuken? Man. That is a little buff, I gotta say. I like Preach's projectile because it keeps you. It keeps you there. Like, it, oh, there, there's the guard crush. So here, hold on. Let, let me, let me go. We're almost done with this video. Yeah. Okay. Ah ha ha! Get thrown out that nice, bro. Where's the overheat? Oh, that's the, no, that's not it. It's the garbage. Let's go like right here. So take a take a look at Rock. Rock's getting crushed right now, right? And look at his overheat gauge. Bam. Oh See? my god, dude! Like if you All get right. another button out of the block string, it seems really chunky. Yeah, and you see how fast your your guard meter cranks up. She just backdashed a fireball. So I'm back, baby. Hey, he's back. She Ugh. just backdashed a fireball. So there's something in the game where it felt like it does have somewhat of invul on stuff mm -hmm. but not anywhere near like uh mark of the wolf mark of the wolf so, is crazy <laughs> the backdashing doesn't so mark of the wolves backdashing is like entirely uh invulnerable until the final frame this game yeah. you have 100 percent. you have low invulnerability for a good chunk of time um mm -hmm. you do have some high invul like a very minimal amount of high invulnerability not much mm -hmm. but it go it's easy to go over lows i was backdashing um power wave a bunch mm-hmm it was weird. It was easier to backdash power wave mid screen than it was in the corner. It's, it hit me in the corner off screen, whereas mid screen I just backdash over it and it just went through. It went through me. All right. So you said you want to see uh, who was it? Let's Marco? get some Vox and Marco in here. Vox and Marco, right, man. Those are some good matches I saw so far. Which screen? I was. I watched all the preacher yeah. stuff. I already gleamed what I liked from her. And oh, you went, has... you went and watched all this footage already without us? I wouldn't check out. One... Look at his stance, bro. He's ready. Yeah. <laughs> he's Dude, he's ready. like, yeah, we got that stuff, bro. He is. He is. All right, let me see. Loading up this preacher Marco footage. Um... I'm telling you, man. Like, she's got oh, what looks like the frame trap I wanted from Joe in 15 in this game. I'm like, oh, let's go. All right. So this is going to be preacher player one and Marco player two. And the only two stages were available in this build as well. Um, uh, this bar and uh, Dream Amusement. Yeah. Also, one thing I noticed, and this is a minor thing, and this is a, definitely a nerd SNK music fan thing, but there was definitely other songs available from the videos I saw from Max and Justin and everybody Ooh. else and are available in these videos. Ah. So that kind of makes me oh. think that uh, the, ju the Jukebox fans may be uh, eating good in this game. Yeah. Um, so Marco has, I don't know if everyone has it, but Marco's SPG or Revlo is unique in the sense where he can, he doesn't break it, but he ends it early. He can do the full Zanretz Ken, or he could just do the uppercut portion. Oh, yeah. double, double counter hit in one combo. Ooh. What? Marco's getting cooked, bro. Let's, let's turn this one off. Just, just do Next it. Next video. Oh, kill him. Hey, kill hey, him. hey is, is, is this your Marco? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude, <what>? dude. <laughs> Let me tell you. I was not the Marco getting cooked by Max. <laughs> I thought I was, but I was like, there's no way. He didn't beat me 17 times in a row. Nah, man, Got you we, 4K, bro. Oh, man. Max nah. was putting up numbers against people. It was great. He's getting ready for them streams, dude. Like, ain't nobody getting no free cloud on me no more. This Marco's yeah, too respectable. Yeah. I don't know about that one. <laughs> oh, boy. He thought that was about to be safe. He thought it was slash kick from 13. Let's see. No punish. See what I mean? Bro. Well, that was oh, it. No. Oh, look, at, look at that combo. I, I love that he can cancel off the double hit now, though. Well, yeah, because he can't cancel from the first one anymore. I think Break, it's easier. EX, oh, EX comes out pretty fast. Okay, maybe that's that's the move. Oh, just wake up buttons. I like it. Yeah, full combo. Okay. EX, DP. He's, he's going to break in. Oh, he oh, tried oh, to the yeah. third. Yeah, he messed it up. I was messing that up, too. It's just like a timing thing. Like, um, you got to get comfortable in the game. 
Oh no, oh, not dude, the classic. Day one frame trap right there. <laughs> So it feels like this footage, there's there's a lot of like, it seems like average fighting game players playing this right now, right? Which isn't a bad thing. I think this is yeah. more accurate footage of what most people are going to play like versus, you mm -hmm. know, like high level footage, which there's no no such thing as high level footage right now. Like people who are playing like day one, right? Maybe they had a little bit of time in training mode. Oh, that down yeah. C reaches so far. This game. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh she, she overheated. Yeah, she overheated very fast. Oh, throw her in the corner. Oh, that throw oh, so sick. Even... Oh no! Don't do that. Big punny. Here we go. Hit. Just yep. right oh, oh no! He didn't have it. Oh, he didn't want it. Super maybe. He didn't I think want that, that would have been. Yeah, that should have been super. It would have done a big. Would have done big damage. He didn't want to win. Oh! Oh! oh try oh, to do DP. Yeah. Yeah. Try to do DP. Oh! Ooh, I like that. Oh! I wonder if he knew that does like decent chip damage or something. Oh, excuse me. You would have to JD that maybe. Yeah. With every step I walk the well-worn path of the beasts, just whenever, wow, just where, where will it take a man like me? Um, this, has <clears> got, <throat> this has got some wind quotes. I like it. So um, let me go back real quick and show this. This was at like the very beginning of, of the, the round. Yeah, Vox's one quote specifically states that, like, I got to report back to Kine or something like that. There's a couple ones that where he mentions them, yeah. Nice, or, I think it's, it's right here. Yeah, see, so he rev blows. Uh, rev blow has That's complete bad. has complete guard point on for everyone. Air That's rev like blow and ground rev blow. Um, Was that frame one? But I don't know if it's frame uh, one. It's fast. Yeah, it's I don't fast. Know if, yeah. Um, but he's got the same. T his rev blows his top attack for Mark of the Bulls. But notice here. <laughs> Uh oh, sorry about that. Oh no, he does the whole thing. I'm stupid. Wait, where did he cancel? Yeah, this is the whole 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 version <laughs> on that one. Yeah, he canceled it in one of them. Um, or maybe I just thought he canceled it. Well, we don't know what. Do we know what the actual difference is between the two? Like, what is it? So is... that's that's what I was trying to figure out. I didn't have any time to explore it. I just I saw it when I was like, uh, we were jokingly mashing Revelo against each other, and then mm -hmm. I saw that I'm like, what the hell? He can cancel his because Vox can't do that. Uh, but again, Vox has a one-hit rev blow. Terry, one, uh, it, they all have one-hit rev blows or like it's a massive hit, right? Um, so I wasn't sure uh, how, like, what's the fun the function, what's the purpose. Um, let's go to another match now. Let's see. No more, uh, no more preacher, right? Well, no, we have it's. We got more. We can, so just just so everyone knows, I mean, it's we, we can showcase everything. There's 17 different matches. Uh, there are three Vox Marco, three Vox Rock, two Terry Preacher, two Rock Terry, two Preacher, or sorry, three Preacher Marco, three Preacher Rock. Um, There's so, a lot of Preacher. Yes, Preacher is very heavily focused. Yeah, Mar Marco's Revlo currently is unique, and I'm trying to figure out who else will have that. Like, will Jenny be able to do Revlo? Like, it's, it's going to be your same top attack most likely, right? Will she be able to cancel it uh, midair and then go into dive kick? Oh. Well, so like, let's say Dong Fon is in here, his rev blow would be like the top attack in Mark of the Wolves, where he does like the, the drop kick spinning. Yeah, and it hits multi hits once, or it hits, pretty chunky first, and then turns into a multi hitting attack. Mm -hmm. So I could see like the first hit of that maybe being cancelable. Maybe, maybe. If he can cancel during like the little spinny part, that's that's good, but that might be a little be a little much. You want Dolvik and City of the Wolves? I'm, so I didn't know how people learned of those character names. And I, I have the goddamn book where the character names are in and never realized people had the book. Um, I think that character would be cool. Just a fan. I do want to know who the announcer for the game is. Uh, hey, Marco was still able to cancel his uh, far stand seat, right? Uh, you're muted, today. No, Marco can't cancel far seat. Uh, he can't like do the spinny thing that he does. In Mark of the Wolves CD. Uh huh. You mean far D? Yeah. Like far D into C? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think so. I, I kind of don't remember. I did try it, but oh. ooh, that combo would have been sick. Um, I can't say for sure. I want to say no. That you couldn't do it because oh. it's definitely something oh, I would try. Oh, you backed off on the cross up, <laughs> oh, bro. 
Oh, baby. Oh, no, thirsty. No, no. My man's thirsty, dude. He's, not he's not trying to get these horizontal off. distance on that DP. Yeah, the, the Japanese trailer announcer is uh, Geese's, Geese and Genjiro's voice, if I remember right. Um, they had to put Geese in the game somehow, right? Make him the announcer for the game. <laughs> Hey man, it's perfect. Yeah. Oh, oh, I suppose oh, they oh, should put oh. uh, us in the game as DLC voice announcer. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Maybe. he messed up a break. Hold on, guys. Hold on. You about to <laughs> Set off the screen, alarms. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's me. Borderline wanted to throw my like, stick from messing like, up the break. I'm like, oh jeez. Here's a breathing hard into the microphone, like. <laughs> <laughs> the, the 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 oh, matches okay. the matches are recorded. This is not us playing. The matches are directly from God, SNK. Wish. Oh my god. Nah, no way. That's not gonna combo. Oh, he wanted it. To oh, my man is thirsty, bro. You see that punish? He was you like, I'm ready. You gotta block low. Down back it. Kill him? That was a DP or something. I don't know. He was trying to do something. What? Oh, what was that? Nightmare Geese in arcade mode? I think that'd be sick. I've, I've been seeing a lot of people say Nightmare Rock, and that's something that's been a joke for years. Like in the suit? Uh -uh. Well, you guys saw, saw the trailer, right? I mean, the stage is there. The, uh, the map trailer, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there it is. Big punish. So I've been told that this actually has reduced damage after that. And it looks like it's true. Yeah, the sc scaling in this game is pretty ridiculous at times. Oh, he punched her into... Over I don't think that's plus. That's funny. I want to I say it's not plus, uh, but there's a lot of counter hits happening here. <laughs> so her that was a wild plan. No slowdown? That's crazy. That was all from the DP break. So, no, uh, Wild Punish doesn't lead to slowdown. Wild Punish is just uh, Dude, a different yeah. punish. Pay attention to this guard meter. Jesus. Yeah. Well, nothing she could do because you can't do anything when you're overheated. Oh, nice challenge. Oh, yeah. Rock Bend is it. at Geese Tower. You're right. Also, for, for those who don't know, this game doesn't oh, see, have it beat super it. cancels. She there no definitely right beat there. the follow up. Uh -oh. To uh -oh. Yeah, uh -oh. She uh -oh. might be Boom. dead. And so this, for those who don't know, in Mark of the Wolves, Mark will have to mash this out. This is always this move. Boom. Boom. I'm 50-50 on that because I liked watching oh, people oh, roll the stick like that. What you got to say? What you got to say? What you got to say? <laughs> Excuse me? You watch your mouth, son. You want to know how to do a hot roll? Roll. I feel like no, watching them roll. roll I want to roll my like stick. That. Jesus. Into oblivion. <laughs> All right. Entirely purpose. -based. Nightmare yeah. Hell Pockets. Roll. I I Nightmare love Hell Pockets roll unleashed. Oh, I'll man, roll man. my stick on your grave. Yeah. Roll that stick, baby. Yeah. Let's see what else. And here's well, one more preacher versus Marco. Is there a Vox preacher? No, there is not. Okay. What's well, going on, Vox? Oh, How's yeah. he doing? Yeah, I'm very uh, interested to see how Vox. Uh, developed so, into this game. Yeah, Vox is. I, I'm gonna be honest. When I saw the trailer for Vox, I was like, "Oh, Angry Boy." I don't care. Uh, I, I knew I could tell it was like Grant. Uh, and I was like, "Oh, it's Baby Grant. Cool." And then when I saw him play, I'm like, "Okay, all right, hold on." Baby Grant. Hold on. When 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 Vox comes up, I'm gonna bring up some things. All right. Mm. Me, hi, Grant player. Uh, Kevin mm. player as well. Once Kevin comes out, oh shit. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, oh, hey, what's going on? RS1, what's going on? Raider Nation, baby, what's up? Um, oh, look at that what's trade. Up? What's up, Josh? Opening up with the hints, crazy. Oh, he's, oh, come on. oh, what was oh. that? He's thirsty, bro, I told know. you. He didn't know, he didn't know. Okay. Uh -huh. He's like, all right, here we go. Uh -huh. Finally, my time to shine. Oh, no. That doesn't work, actually. I'm pretty sure that doesn't work. Yo, that's sick, actually. Vox See, that's what dreads? I'm saying. Like, I think he... I think he hit a button and she went into that DP and he immediately went into a uh, red blow. Ooh. Damn, he's trying to zone with that. You know, my man plays 98 FE yes. uh, <laughs> Rio. Rio. Yeah. X Rio. Nightmare Kevin has full meter all the time. <laughs> no, you just give Nightmare, you make Nightmare Kevin have every, everything zero frame. That's it. Fox should have dreads, I agree. Give, so you're saying Vox should have the the kill He should monitor? have hair. He should have I, hair. So I was saying Vox should have a mohawk, or at least make it the the Grant horns. Make that his hair. Actually, I, that's uh, that would be pretty cool too. I want him to have the mask hair, or the the hair that he has in the game. 
like the old man spiky gray hair? Yeah, but it, obviously he like painted yeah, it like that. Maybe have some streaks. The air revelos are so strong. Yeah. Man, she's in smart mode, but she keeps getting overheated. He punished with the revlo. She's not playing very smart. All, they're not all revlos are not created equal. Like mm. I think Marcos is really good. Um, bro, <laughs> did you try boxes? At all? This is big. Oh, uh, I think boxes rev boxes revlo is great. It reaches so far. Y you'll see. Um, well, so I say you'll see, assuming they use it in, the, in this match footage. I need dead body combos. <laughs> or like fall, like be able to continue the combo. I need post KO taunts. There you What's go. This? With every step, I will go. So, um, will Rio show up in this one more time? One more time. So we're all hoping. Let me, let me hold on. Let me go to our pretty faces. We're all pulling for uh, Mr. Karate Two to come in this game. We be, talked be about it last night, right? Like yeah. how there was a subtle hint. Actually, it wasn't even subtle. No, it was. They it just was out correct. Uh, I, I think it was. It was a bunch of people did interviews at Summer Game Fest with Oda-san, Josh, and Kuroki-san. Um, they mentioned something about their, that, uh, are, are there other Kyokugen fighters in the game? And I think they said yes. And so we started talking about like, Hey, who is it? And the sad uh, for me, the sad thing is it might be Yuri, right? Because she's technically late forties, early fifties in this timeline. Um, she's supposed to be the actual genius of Kyokugen. She's supposed to be like the best at it. Yeah. What, what if she's Ms. Karate or Mr. Karate 3? And they're like, wait, Mr. What? And people mm. start getting stupid. So I don't, like, and I said, like, I don't see her being a goofball anymore, but I do kind of see her being, like, the fun auntie type now. I, I can see her just being Takuma in KOF, where he's just like, haha, look at me, I'm in a mask, and just goofing around with his kids. I can see Dude, that. Dude, or, or what if it's like she's, like, really goofy, but then gets mad serious? Like in the match, like she flexes oh. off her like her See. her workman's outfit, and it's like a gi underneath or something. Yeah. You you know what's the best description I could say? It's like you guys uh, ever watch One Punch, One Punch Man? Yes. So there's a part where uh, homeboy robot dude is like. Hey man, come on, give me a real punch. Stop messing around. Let me see what it really does. And then it gets mad serious. He throws face. the punch, <laughs> but like past his face. I want to see her do that. Oh, that you would want be. Her sick. Is what you're saying. Well, the personality change. The Yuri Ichigeki, yeah, gotcha, you know? Gotcha. You yeah, I, or if you want her to lock something in, like that, that'd be so sick, dude. You want her to lean forward on in the chair. Oh, you want me to give you like my that. all? Mm, you die. Let's do this. Uh, here's Rock and Terry, the the poster boys for the game. Uh, this is a smart style Terry. Oh, we're gonna uh, that's an oxymoron. <laughs> Terry should never be my smart. I want him as dumb as possible. We need I have as dumb as possible. I put, or excuse me, as, ar as arcade as possible. I put omega three fatty acids into my hair to make it look like this. Hey, 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 Yo, man, the fish oil. That, right? Yeah, fish oil, baby. I put that on my finger. <laughs> Try to keep up, all right? <laughs> Terry, so beefy. My arms are heavy. <laughs> Lifting chili dogs. So Terry's got round wave in this game, but it, it's not what round wave used to be. Oh, look at oh, so that, that's that's, that's next crash shot into air red That low. did so much that, damage. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It looks sick too. Terry, Terry is a monster in this. He just just dumps damage on you. Holy crap! Look at that. You see oh, how the that pushed him back. That was a stand A. No escape. Yeah, I doubt added, that with his invisible. Yeah. I doubt yeah, that. That was a B, um, power dunk. And you saw it, it completely beat it out. Ooh. Oh, man, the down, down. I'm going to call him the same things I call him Mark of the Wolves. I got to not do that. It said reversal. Yeah, re reverse rev blow. Re re so, reverse. Yeah. Oh, that's got to be set. That. That's got to be negative. On Look at that. You mm -hmm. cannot punish mm -hmm. that, bro. Did you see that? Now, did it cancel the auto combo into, like, rev blow? Yes. So your your chain combos work like real about two. So essentially, mm. you do you do a ACC special. Ooh. That's actually really cool. I like that this player is using a lot of rev low because I, I think it needs to get shown off like that. It's very good. It's pretty good, yeah. Like, and it doesn't seem to eat up a lot of rev gauge. Ooh. Ooh. What's he got? What's he got? Bounce him. Oh, bounce? Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Almost. Dude, that's, that's like good. 40% for how much was that? 60% rev? He's revving up, oh. though. He's revving up. He is up. revving okay, up. Not... I need Rock to calm down, man. He is not in a position to be. Oh, him. was that ambiguous? That looked hard to block. Okay. Oh, oh no, he didn't get it because that yeah. second hit. Yeah, the yeah. second hit at the beginning. 
Yeah, Terry is an SPG, which is why he was Ooh, able to he, rev Did you see that guard cancel attempt? Yeah. Dunk. Oh, no. Counter hit. Oh, Dude, that, oh, oh here we go. Okay, guy, big boy. All right, big boy. Oh, time. man, I hit you with your own move. He's like, I'm waiting for this. Dust to jump. dust, buddy. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Hit him with the SDR music. <laughs> this finger does a lot of work. I can't afford to go home just yet. Oh, man. This wing quote. I just beat up my dad. Can't go home yet, dad. Uh, you were talking, home talking yet, about dad. the guard cancel attempt. Let me see if we can Can't go afford to, to go home yet. Let's see where right, it is. Around it's, here. Just a fan. Yeah, okay. it's before this. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's before this. Let's see. Oh, oh that, that was it. Okay. So that was... Do burn knuckle. Yeah, that was... Maybe not the best knuckle. idea to do burn knuckle there. No. Yeah. I would do... I mean, I imagine you would do a uh, light kick power dunk since it's got the reversal yes. properties. Yes, so now, yes. Well, this is this goes back to something that I mentioned earlier. Let me go back to our faces really quick. Um, I mentioned earlier when we were guard canceling into stuff, a lot of moves said in, in, invincible. Right, I was with with Vox. I was guard canceling into his his ADP. Uh, I got hit out of it. I got counter hit out of it most of the time. Much much like this exact scenario here, where this is not an invulnerable move. This is just a regular guard cancel. But this is what's going to happen mm. when you guard cancel into the wrong move. And what this game feels like right now in its current state, uh, or at the Summer Game Fest build, I should spe uh, specify. Um, you do not guard cancel in the middle of someone's string. You guard cancel at the end of their string. I mean, especially during a rev arc string, because he's just doing them on block, bro. But that's like another skill level. Yes. Like yes. So when uh, when you and I were playing, you remember I was I was just defending most of the things. Mm -hmm. um, my goal was like let's just just defend everything and try to guard cancel at the end of whatever. Like when I'm pushed too far back, or let's just try to mm. let, let, let me just try to get it in somewhere. Because whenever whenever I was guard cancel. Oh, okay. Sorry, it, it my, was, my brain's still hit. stuck on the rolling meat. Sorry, or <laughs> sorry, never mind. What? <laughs> you're trying to roll the stick on you. Rolling stick, and he's got to get it in. <laughs> um, All right, my <laughs> uh, guard canceling at the end of a string, just tackling on even more. So well, you, did, guard... you did mention while we were there, and I mean to give you credit, you bring this up again. It's like you immediately told me it was like uh, doing multiple um, JD is going to be really important in this game. Yes. This this isn't gonna be a game like in Mark of the Wolves. As soon as I get one one JD, mm. it benefits me. As long as you're not trying to bait me, uh, as long as you're not trying to bait my just defend, it benefits me to just instantly guard cancel to try to counter hit your next attack. Mm -hmm. Right. This game is gonna require you to just defend multiple hits in a string, and then go into there. And uh, mm. to uh, erroneous error to your point about um, guard canceling and increasing your rev gauge. When you just defend, it lowers your rev gauge. So that's 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 the the, the give and take Incentive. yeah and um you're you're seeing a lot of combos where it's like ex ex it's it's rev excel sorry it's called rev excel rev excel to rev excel to rev excel once the game gets broken down what's going to happen is you're going to get rev excel into rev excel that bounce and it's going to give give a bounce attack or something and you're going to end it with a regular special and that regular special uh, while your rev goes up that regular special is going to bring it down a bit the way this game is going to be played once it gets broken down is you're gonna you're gonna try to hover your rev gauge around forty to sixty percent. I can see that. Yeah. That's that's gonna be the goal, where you get that one big touch at the beginning of, the beginning of a match, or the beginning uh, beginning of a round, and you're it's like oh man he just cranked up his rev gauge and then now your goal is to bring it back down because once they start their offense if you're if you're floating at fifty sixty percent, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you an overheat. Like that, rev and you gauge. have to JD that because we've shown that if you block, it goes up anyway, right? Yes, and th that's what yeah, I mean. So. Like even if you're blocking, if you let me mount my offense and you're just blocking, I'm gonna crank that that gauge up. Yep. Like that's that's the thing that I, that I was noticing. Um, and I know. I, again, this sounded like it's very very early on. It's, it's so early that the game is not even born yet, right? But seeing what this is. This is what the game is going to become. It's going to become balancing your rev gauge because that's the most important feature in this game. Much like Street Fighter VI, your drive gauge is the most important feature. But this seems more important to me. This this locks you, you out. You lose of, so much when yeah. you like overheat, though. It's you like, yeah, you like, lose access to just defend. Just that that alone is such a big that's deal. That's pretty big. Yeah, you I was see, stunned. I was yeah, stunned. Quite literally stunned after a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. 
Yeah, uh, Hidden Gear is going to... Yeah, oh, so, okay, you, you mentioned in chat. Perfect. Hidden Gear is going to be very important in this game. Because you're, what you're going to want to do is eventually, like, either burn yourself out or overheat your... It, I hate it. Overheat and burnout. It's like the same thing, right? I mean, it's the same exact mechanic. Yeah. But uh, we're, we've been saying burnout for so long with Street Fighter Six. It's been exactly a year. Is Street Fighter Six a year old now, today? Uh, or last week? It was last week. Maybe sorry. last week, yeah. yeah. Um... When you when you do um your hidden gear, it drops. It, you use two meters, and you need to be an SPG, right? And it drops your overheat bar back to zero. That's gonna be the like so important to balancing out your your things. Like even you saw earlier, the rock did. Or here, it's it's here, right? Hold on, here. Yeah, he did the. Uh, well, that was a it's that was right a round here. ender. It's a round ender, but you're gonna see things like this where it is just oh hey, rising tackle, break, and then hidden gear. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. look, look, revving up. I don't know where it's, where it's going to drop. Right, I, by the way, that's an incredible read. Boom, zero. See? It's at zero. Where's my mouse? I don't see my mouse. There it is. So his rev gauge went back to zero. You can't see my mouse. Whatever. But you don't want that at the end of a round. You want that in the middle of a round, particularly middle at, round. At, when when you both still have a decent amount of health. Or if you're if it's the final round, you're ahead. You want to do that. You do not want to give your opponent the advantage. So it's going to be right. an interesting feature. Uh, it's not features. It's gonna be interesting seeing how different players balance this because, like, say Street Fighter Six, you see some players they just just like that. They just burn, just go into burnout right away, and some just like try to preserve their meter as best as possible. The only place, the only way I think that might not be an issue is when they place the SPG at the end of the bar because you're gonna get the most bang for your buck out of yeah. your rev gauge. Uh, you may not have to go. You may not get an opportunity to go into. Uh, your hidden gear because you won't be overheated from your your, your string basically, uh, so that's more of that comeback mechanic factor there. But the first and secondary positions, absolutely, we'll probably be seeing a lot of hidden gear activations mid round. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm looking forward to this. I can't wait till more people get their hands on it. Evil people played it at Evil Japan and it was it was a lot of positivity. But I heard it was like a two hour line, right? Am I tripping? It was, I think they said like hour and a half, two hour line. Um, heard it was long yeah and assuming this will be at evo proper or evo world what they're calling it now evo vegas uh, evo usa i don't know what it's called anymore but if this is gonna be at evo next month um more people are gonna get their hands on it there and i want to see what uh people are gonna do with it yeah no a lot of content probably be dropping around then uh so get ready folks um i don't know did we ever get any more content from evo japan from like the actual market of wolves players that were there um we did. A lot of people ignored what they said other than other Mark of the Wolves players. They didn't necessarily mm. ignore them. It's just the Mark of the Wolves community in Japan doesn't have a massive following, so people didn't see their opinions. Yeah. Um, a lot of it was kind of, not. I don't want to say negative, but a lot of it was like, mm, mm, I don't like this, I don't like that. I'll go into that in a bit. I anticipated that. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. This is a different Terry versus Rock game. Yeah, Terry's now in smart style. Oh, he wanted to or was play he always immediately. He was, yeah, he was already in smart, so. Okay. Man, counter hit, counter hit, counter hit. Just defend these things, come on. He said, nah, the cross up so chunky. Wait a minute, he just did his oh. his close C uh, counter uh, move like Here, from a move. distance. Let's see, let's see. Let's I go just, back to it right away. Like, it, it was a proximity move in Market of Wolves, but it looks like he just did that from a distance. Yeah. Um, It looked like he was far enough, maybe. Or no, his uh, his far C in Mark of the Wolves is that, even up close. No, his far C in Mark of the Wolves is a straight punch. But he like he did his close C. Oh, oh sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Maybe because Rock was jumping at him. I'm, I'm yeah. thinking. Okay, what's I think what? the activation oh, that that was definitely from a distance. The and activation, the activation that close C happened, allowed for the follow up to come out. You, you wanna? Did you just see that? Which one? Like, roll it back to the beginning of this combo? No, before this. Before this. Because he whiffs. No. Throw. Push back. Oh, what is damn. That? Interesting. That hella far. So hold Dude, on, hold on. And, it's been, and it whiff canceled. Yeah, I was going to say, I mentioned you can't whiff cancel. Can you whiff cancel... Command normal moves that are normally cancelable. Yeah, interesting. I didn't try this this situation. 
Maybe because oh, it's, it's smart style. Oh, it's smart style. Yeah. yeah that's Dude, that's it oh, that's it. That's a hundred percent what it is. Yeah. That's kind of it's kind of good. <laughs> so smart style, while it does have its drawbacks, like you don't lose damage like you do in Street Fighter. Yeah. With the uh, modern. That's that's kind of good because Stand up. Uh, if you just get like basically throw like two cancelable moves in neutral like that from that distance and then you're just like whatever you didn't bite on it I'm gonna throw out like Ooh, he's committed a safe to special. That. He broke uh, or he broke the move. I gotta go back and check that because the one thing that they were very specific about is you cannot break and you cannot faint in smart style. He did break. He did break. Is this is this the devs cheating? Is that what this is? Oh, oh no, man! They hit the dip switch. Or was it EX Power Dunk or regular Power Dunk that he broke? I you know what? I'm not sure, actually. Yeah, we might have to go back there. After EX Power Okay, well, let's let let this one finish, and we'll check it out. Oh, look at that wild punish. Ooh. Oh, no. And that's a level that one, you, right? You had a grip. That had invincibility on level one. Yeah. Aron is saying it was regular dunk. Let's check it out let's for see. sure. I'm going to just go back. That was this round or the previous round? It was the previous round, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there it is. There I just it is. I, I came, wow. came to it. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna maybe that's baked in string for smart style. I don't know. So I was gonna say it might be a smart style auto thing, because um, they do have. Um, I can't get to it right now. Kind of. Wild like punish gives you more frames of advantage. Um, it's essentially a counter hit, but with more bang for your buck for it. It's when uh, they're I think they're active frames. Are active, you get it. Dude, I'm still thinking about how you can just like activate close C from any range in smart style. Yeah, because well, it, it didn't hit me till you mentioned, like, wait, he did close C. I'm like, how do you do close C? That's not right. Yeah, there's no far C when you're in smart style. I mean, that's pretty smart. <laughs> like, why would I want far C? <laughs> well, so uh, people don't like the one big thing that's been going on is people don't like proximity normals. Um, right? That, I mean, that's, that's a thing. That, oh, that's a big thing people were complaining about with uh, Street Fighter Six. Get rid of proximity right, normals no. in SNK games, which is known for having proximity normals in everything. Yes. And people will play. Right? Uh, I, I mean, it was pretty it annoying before they balanced it out or, like, patched it out of uh, how some of the proximity normals hit super funny in uh, 15 and 14. Yeah. And 13, you know, Kim's close D whiffing because he was not in the proximity for it to hit, but it was close enough for it to actually activate. Oh, the guard crush. And he wasn't ready. And yeah, so this is the. This is, all, this is all smart style stuff. I'm going gonna, gonna to do something. Hold up. Ooh, well, he's dead, but that would actually be the right way to handle that because that's going to get. No, he's not dead. He's alive. Or what'd not. Jesus. What'd you say, dead, James Chen? Too much huh? red. That's too much huh? red. I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the only way to purge the oh, so that's how you get stronger by purging the evil in your veins, buddy. Okay, I got yeah, you. man. Give me a quick second. You, you guys talk. I'm gonna look up something. with some yeah. water. Oh, dude, yeah, no, uh, smart style, close, uh, proximity normals, uh, whip canceling into specials, dude. That is a different way to play fighting games altogether, honestly. So, and you don't get the freaking you don't get the damage scaling either. Oh, people are gonna be so good with smart style. Rev it up. Uh, I'll tell you what, man. People at the show, once we got them to start using smart style, mm -hmm. oh, they, they were they having like a experts. blast, yeah. bro. And they they were like really into the game. You know what's funny is watching some of these people. You're talking about you like seeing people, you know, roll their sticks or whatever. Bro, they were definitely almost borderline rubbing their face on the, the game pad. <laughs> they were so into the game. I was like, wow. Even because everybody's like average age might be for like 35 and up, bro. Like there's yeah, some most, young people most there. Most of the people there were, were pretty old. Not pretty old. Pretty I, much I mean, they were pretty old. They, uh, they yeah. were in their 30s, uh, a lot of the yeah. people. 30 and up. There's some people that were in their 20s, but mostly, honestly, it was people 30 and up. And they were playing like if they got transported back to being like nine 13 years old yeah. of like just oh they yeah. were smoker, huh? oh yeah. i see i see so check it out uh hold on let me see if i can do this let me see if i can do this you guys can see that Ooh, right what's this you guys see that i can see this yes. okay let me make sure it looks good on stream just a heads up gibby i'm probably gonna have to bounce in like 
10 minutes. Wow. Wait, why is it not picking it up? Is it not picking it up where? On my stream. Uh, uh. Let me see. What? Yeah, it doesn't pick it up. Interesting. Um, anyway, uh, sm so I'm looking at the smart style move, move list. It has smart combo. You mash circle. So ma mash your D button, essentially. Um, that's what we were seeing Terry do. So he basically has a broken power dunk as part of his op his uh, smart style combo. Yeah, looking at this. Okay, I mean that's that's fair. Okay, that makes much more sense. Overcome you serial can, blockers with a good throw. Can Sorry. you? Can you? No, oh, I don't. Not no way they would do that. I was gonna say, does it activate on block too? Like if you do a smart style combo on block. I assume so. Um, so you can actually end that string with the broken power dunk. Yeah, I imagine no matter what, smart style combos are the same. Um, Fuse normal style has real about two uh, auto combo, I guess you can call it, where it's uh, you do light punch, heavy punch, heavy punch, circle or uh, heavy kick, and it's a four hit uh, combo. You can end it with you can end it with a heavy kick forward, heavy kick down, heavy kick, or you can uh, cancel the first the third hit into a special. It's not a traditional auto combo like KOF fifteen where you just mash a. Uh, if you're t which I hate because I triple tap A. And, ugh. Um, In the auto combo. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Let's go into a Vox match real quick. Yes. Yes. Let's do some Vox. Match. But it's good. It's good to know that Smart Style, while loses mechanics, you still have them in some capacity. That's pretty interesting. Um, Terry Preacher, Vox Rock, Vox Marco. Let's do Vox. Yeah. Marco. Uh, also, uh, Vox, he definitely needs some hair, man. I don't know if any of the the content folk showed it off, but Vox has an idle animation where he's he's, uh, he's like, "I got my eyes on you," and then he just tells you to shush, like in Cino Man. Oh, I think too be people are too busy noticing his potty mouth, man. Uh, yeah, he cusses a lot. My boy, I, I heard that and I was laughing, and then people started hearing it. He was like, "Oh shit." <laughs> SPJ. He's like, don't press the button yet. Oh, perfect timing to press the button. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> and what? Vox is smart style here as well. Um, that's his invulnerable DP right there. It didn't work that way at the at the, uh, SWC or SWC um SGF. Summer game fest. SGF. Summer game fest. Oh, you do get the follow up with the overhead on uh, Marco, like you did in yeah. Marco Wolves. Oh, see, and Vox has the command dash or like the the charge at you that Grant has. Grant hits you with his chest, whereas yeah. Vox hits you with his shoulder because he's he's a small little boy. He doesn't really have much of a chest, yeah. Yeah, there. <laughs> he's, he's got years to develop, but look, he's he's got Grant dive kick. Hey, it's getting there, man. It is. It is. I do think he needs, like, some hair, though. Yeah. He's definitely looking like one of those, like, edge lord. But, dude, guys. what if they have alts in this? What if it's alts is, like, a lot oh, closer man. to looking like Grant? That'd be so that's something that a lot of people were wondering about, like, since we have, like, potentially a smaller cast of characters in KOF, obviously. Will we get some alt costumes, finally? Oh, baby. Whoa. Yeah, he let Whoa. it rip. He said, this is for the game. <laughs> give Vox waves. <laughs> so the the thing I was saying was I think Vox should have uh, nail polish on because it matches it fits the character. You know, he looks like someone that would paint his nails. Oh yeah, absolutely. This and guy goes to the the ten dollar all ages punk shows. Yes, yes. And he's in there. He's moshing, uh, doing doing a rowboat thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Throwing fists and stuff, and everybody's like, "Hey, no karate in the pit." He's like, no "It's dark not karate. karate in the pit. It's dark karate." <laughs> 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 He's like, sorry, babe. I gotta go visit my master's grave. Oh, we got punched in the overheat. At least you can stop. It's all. Oh, you could have done the hit. Oh no, he didn't have enough meter. But yeah, see how fast is. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. he's dead. Yeah. He oh. could have. So he this. Oh, Ooh, nice. Oh, oh, I gotta go back bro. and look at that really quick. Nah. He said, so, nah, bro. I'm gonna go back to this exact situation. What was that just defend? The air just defend? 
Okay, yeah. So that looked like an instant air just defend type thing. That was, that looked like a short hop just defend. Like Say that again. Look at that. Look look how low he is to the ground where he just defends. He leaves the ground, instantly That's just defends. Fast. Ooh, yeah. That's lower than I was able to get a just defend when I was intentionally trying to do an instant air just defend. And it genuinely looks like it was a short hop, and you cannot just defend from short hops in the build that we played. What do you got to say? What do you got to say? Thinking, man, uh, like that's uh, I I hope that's in the final build. I like that. I think I like that a lot. So the the reason you can't just defend from short hopping in uh Mark of the Wolves because short hopping is strong. You can yeah. you short hop button into special super like it it, it starts your offense. There that's too to much a, of a mix. Yeah, there's there needs to be a downside to these things. I was wondering, can you could you just defend in short hops in CVS two in K Groove? No, no. Hmm. I don't remember. Hmm. I'm gonna say no. Right, and then so, go someone, now. someone can call me a liar later. But I'm gonna say no. All right, let's do one more, and then I gotta bounce. One All more right. Vox yeah. versus Marco. Kinron says you could not do that. All right. See, I was right. What I tell you? What I tell you? No one's gonna call Thank me. Thank you liar. so much, audience. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, we Goon chat always keeping us on track. Thank you guys mm -hmm. so much for being with us. Six D viewers, love you. You use that Marco uh, emo. Is like, rematch? Mm -mm. Yeah, this, mm -hmm. this is a rematch. Same same two players, I imagine. Back shot of streaming forces you to watch two ads. Gross. Bro, that's crazy. We purposely don't play ads here. Yeah. Oh, whoa. <laughs> That's happened to that me before. Tight. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I want I'm glad that it doesn't suck you in like real Sakazaki's in like every KOF game ever. Uh, you know, maybe maybe Kyoko gets evolved to be a more Listen, healthier. All swallowed up. Yeah. Oh, oh he's oh. dead. Big combo. Oh. Big combo. Oh, he didn't, oh, he had oh, he didn't let it rip. He didn't let it rip. I was say, man, he had a bar. He was he hadn't even used it. He rep. Yeah. He let him off the hook. He said the Vox is who, are, who we thought they were. So I haven't... Maybe I missed in the previous one, but I haven't seen Vox do any uh, rev blow. Oh, there it is. So that that's one of the best rev blows in the game. Oh, that was He big, launches yeah. so far forward. It's similar to Grant's in that, that regard, where Grant, like, dashes forward. Oh, his top? Yeah. yeah. Um, Vox is, like, moves forward. He, and he's, he's legit because it's got guard point on it. He's just an active frame <laughs> just hitting you and charging at you. So oh, crazy! What's going on? Oh, oh, bro, that doesn't work in any. No, they don't that work. That, that that's too far. Like yeah, a lot right of these come in the corner. Looks like, and that's like he he got so much started without. Oh, hey, look at that! That was a successful meter. guard cancel. Oh, look Ooh, at that! Look at, look at. That's PJ. Where's PJ now? Oh. He said, "Hold my rev guard." <laughs> oh, that's smart style. That's why I'm like, wait, I couldn't do that combo. How do you? And all smart style. That jump, beat, that jump B is like kind of good, man. Uh, that's jump B, yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's very good. Yeah, that's uh, Krantz, wasn't it? Yeah. Invincible, level one. Is it level one so invincible? It said. I mean, it said. <laughs> oh, all right. Well. Are you watching me, Master? I dedicate this victory to the miracle that is Kyoko and Krantz. Damn. He's, he's indoctrinated hard, isn't he? Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh-oh. Uh oh, hold on. Sorry, everybody. Oh no, oh, lost no. us. Here in the audio. Technical the difficulties, video. all yeah. The the, the video working at ninety five percent power on the PC. That that just that CPU is getting crunched. Uh... Look at Mark in this crunch on. He's like, oh, I'm so crunched. crazy. Thank you for the fifty six months. Whoa, look at that animation there. That's cool. You guys still hear me, right? Everything's coming in through. Yeah, yeah stream, stream good, stream yeah. good. All right, cool. Uh, you want a character to get Bison Head Stomp for their new Rev Air Blow? Oh, man. That's going to be Hotaru. What was her Air Rev Does Blow? Does she have it? I don't remember what her Air Rev Blow is. Well, she has Head Stomp. Yeah. <sighs> I could have sworn I saw that, yeah. All right, fellas. I got to bounce. This okay. was fun. Um, yeah. We'll do the like game... one more, I think. One more video after you leave. The game feels really good. Um... 
if there's anything, please tweet at the Game Goons account or one of us. If you guys have any questions, we'd be able to ask on Twitter. So follow us all on Twitter, and we'll be able to get uh, an answer to you if we have one. Uh, so, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. And stick around to, for them to finish this uh, stream. Yeah. It was fun, guys. Yeah, it was good. All right, you have a good one. All right, peace. peace. Take it easy. All right, with Abe leaving, that's going to change the way the, the video screens look. I'm um, saying we're about to get all jacked up, aren't we? I can technically fix it in a very dumb way, but we won't. Um, we'll just keep it here. Um, right. Or I say that. Uh, I know how to fix it. Hold on. So I went through all my trouble of fixing my webcam, bro. Yeah, I know. Abe, Abe just just messing it up. But um, let me see. Black image. Check this out. Check this out. For those of you who um ever have issues like like this where someone just bails in the middle of a stream this is all you do okay like you need, need to fix that camera you either put an emote there or uh you just you know cover it up and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna, I'm gonna cover it up very easy cover it up. a very easy cover-up which abe is never gonna know happened, i wonder right? if they'll ever hard program like different people's like cameras as like a source in discord yeah would be nice that would be a lot better for what we're doing here like did it work did it work i it can't worked. tell see I, oh what i did. tell right, everybody cool. what i tell you everybody nobody can tell oh yeah yeah it did work sick yeah, hey, yeah, yeah we we're back see. baby Do, doing it live everyone anyway uh what's what's this next match we got going on <laughs> Oh, I think we is, were um, going to do another Vox, Vox and Rock. Versus Marco? Yeah. Oh, Vox and no, Rock. This is Vox and Rock. Why is it not? Oh. Um, and this is uh, Arcade Rock or Arcade Vox Smart Style Rock. Okay. And. Gonna take you for a ride. Try oh, to keep, try up, to keep right. up. Round one. Get ready. Fight. Ready. Yeah, that rev. Rev. Yeah. So yeah. It looks so fast once the game comes out, too. I didn't even see like, the actual swing. Let me lower the beat that louder for some reason. Um, Vox is a, is a Link heavy character, um, much like Grant, but he does have cancels. Most of his things are Links, though. Stand B into Stand C, Stand B into Stand C. So maybe more of an advanced character to play? Uh, no, I think he's going to be a simple character to play, honestly. Okay. His, the, the Links aren't difficult. Oh, okay. And when he's got you in the corner, I think he does some of the, the best damage in the game. Dude, that command got too much. Hey, you still alive? Wow, that's rude. So you still alive? That's basically his are you okay? Get ready. Fight. He's gonna be his baby mode as Grant? Well, Gibby apparently thinks he might be. He is baby Grant. Yeah. Um, you can play him the same way you play Grant. He's just not as, you know, beefy. I like Grant's design better personally, but, you know, he's not as beefy. He's not as strong. And, yeah, so the buttons aren't what Grant's buttons were. Nice. And that's his new, that's his new super. Ooh. No hard feelings. That standee reaches so far, but it was, it was getting beat out by so much. What, rocks? No, boxes. Oh, that's yeah, that's no, the chain combo right there. Okay. Oh, punish him. Oh, oh see, shoulder fine. charge. Uh, that oh. guy. He didn't want to win. No, he didn't. He didn't want it. He wanted to finish that. And there's the Good Grant back. mask with the Grant eyeball. That's that the dark That is pretty eye. cool. You should yeah, just feel it. Now, I, I, I definitely do. see, like, an all-costume where he just has that on all the time. That would be cool. Uh, it'd make me want Grant even more. But yeah, this yeah. is where he also hints at, like, oh, hey, Kine is my um, my master now. This was um, when I was boarding. Next time, I'll ignore Kine's orders yeah. and erase you. Vox looks dope. Yeah, he, he is. He is. Um, I, I had a lot of fun playing him. Um, very simple character, much much like Grant. I think this is going to be the, the beginner baby first character. Um, oh, Design-wise, yeah, he may not look as cool as Grant to me. But he plays like like Grant, and like you could uh, everything that I was like, oh, this this is what Grant does. That's how I use this character. I did the the same exact thing, so I'm like, oh, it works, oh, it works, it works. There, was, I, I didn't even touch the character at a point, and I was telling Justin, I'm like, hey, do this, 
hey, do that. Hey, do that. And everything worked. I'm like, okay, okay. Got it. Got it. And then, then I did it. When I, when I got my hands on it, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. This is fun. You it was want... on box layout. Ah. Oh, God damn it. I'm telling box you. Layout. Box layout. Box layout breaks, breaks my brain. <laughs> so so much so I'm, I I think I've told you I played Tekken on SNK layout too. Yeah, you did mention Every, that, and I'm still if, not entirely sure how that works. If it is a four button game, I play it on SNK layout. So, and, are you saying that you can't do this on SNK layout? Oh, I can play this game on SNK layout. I can't. Okay, cool. I can't play it on box, which is very frustrating. You um, might actually have like Guilty Gear layout with this. Then, that's what. That's like, my plan. My my plan. Yeah. So I let me let me pull out my boom box. Hold hold on. Ugh. Uh, my plan is to play this game A, B, C, D, E. This is going to be my, my rev button. This is going to do nothing. So that way, like, uh, that's You got your faint. dust button, basically. Yeah. Yes, this, essentially this will be dust. So I got faint and I got uh, overhead and here, right? Okay. That's my plan. Tekken, S, and K side. Look, look, what is it? I, I play one, three, two, four. That's how I play Tekken. And it makes it so easy. I can press any button combination, no problem. I can't. I can't do this. Like my my hands hurt when I'm playing box layout. I don't know how to press three buttons. Like if it involves pressing that button at all, I don't know how to press it without hurting myself. Which sounds stupid. I could see that. But yeah. I've got very bad hands. Why am I so used to box layout? That's so weird. I'm not oh. really sure. Maybe it's because I played KOF 11 for so long, and I was like Gross. used to doing the shit leader trooper. I mean, I. I on KOF 11, I played Guilty Gear layout. I was the I was I mean, one, yeah. one of the only people I know that was doing that. Everyone else was like, oh, it's better on box layout. You know, the E button's just right here. I was like, shut up. You never used the E button either. So it's... Um, You want to do one more? Or what's I can do one more, yeah. One I'm more? down. Which, which, which one do you want to do? What, what character? What character? All right, we already saw a bunch of Precha. We, do... yeah, we saw a lot of Precha. Saw a lot of Marco. I mean, we saw everybody, really. Yeah. Did we have a Vox versus Terry or Marco? There is Vox Marco, yes. Smart, there's Smart Style Vox versus Arcade Marco. Hmm. Is there an Arcade Vox? Arcade Vox versus Rock. Um, Arcade Terry versus Precha, Smart Style. Arcade Rock versus Smart Terry, which we watched both of those. Um, Smart Precha versus Arcade Rock. Or Marco, sorry. And then Smart Rock versus Arcade Preacher. Scrubs, yeah. For for me, hitting hitting B, C, and D at the same time is... I can't do that. Uh, on box. Let's go with the last one you mentioned. Uh, arcade Preacher, Smart Rock? Yeah. All right. Well, all right. Let's do this. Let's like... Preacher. I think these are probably the characters we will see the most week one. Judging off what we see right now. Probably, yeah. Huh. Aha. A fine, a fine specimen, specimen, yeah. Specimen for my research. Marco's like, damn right, I'm hand Oh, this is rock, never mind. This is rock, he's like, yeah. Never mind. Not a fine specimen at all. Get off right. my screen. Try to keep up, by the way. Oh, God, you're a woman. I have a hard time talking to you. <laughs> oh, gee. Hey, Terry, how do I talk to her? <laughs> Joe, why'd you send your apprentice? Oh, she's got the far B? Oh. It might hit low, too. And I'm telling you, Rev, Rev Lowe's having full guard point is going to be a problem. Yeah. I mean, technically, it's fine that both. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Can't just spam it, okay. Ooh, dash under awesome. throw, I like it. I like it. Yeah. So that's how you use the protection. That was me. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's when I saw saw her, um, and what she could do. At first, like with SWC thing, I'm like, oh man, that's gonna be like, that's, she's, it's all set up. That's sick, cause you know how much I've been trying to do meaty hurricane uppers. Yes. For like, and it doesn't forever. work. Yeah. It doesn't work with Joe. You get like a little bit of plus friends, you're like, ah, eh, it's not really much. But that was like, she was already in the air when Rock had to wake up and block that. Rock's air blow is airborne, yes. So what I want to do is someone with an air grab, I'd like to try to air grab them. Because you can grab them out of air blows, or uh, rev blows. That might be the best option against those, yeah. Whoa, look at that. That was a level 2 Raging Storm. 
and it didn't even do a third of health. Yeah. Yeah. Supers don't do a whole lot of damage in this game. Oof. See that? See this? Yeah, he's doing it, huh? Just doing it, huh? That's pretty good. All right, that should be enough. Oh, okay. What's up next? Will it? Oh, uh, it does. Bionic arm? She's out of SPG, so not a lot of damage there. <laughs> Pretty good, though. Still good damage. Pretty decent. Not great, but it was good. Oh, the cross up, man. Uh. Ha ha. What do you guys say? Scared you. Oh, all right. I'll just ride on the ground. You got a graffiti? Oh. On the amusement park? Delinquent. Okay. Listen, Dream Amusement Park is doing its grand reopening, and she's here destroying it? Who wrote all these facts and figures on the uh, the Ferris wheel? Yeah. Hmm. Outside hmm. the circus. The merry-go-round. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, mm. They're facing public property. Yeah. Oh, boy. Sorry, I'm trying to see who else is, is doing things right now. Um, but yeah, what, what are your thoughts so far? Like you didn't you didn't get a chance to play it, and, and even though I only got like th about thirty minutes, I still played it. And I, I I get a f like it's also my my thing too because it's it's more Fatal Fury stuff, and I'm very knowledgeable uh, with all that. Um, I was gonna say that uh, I mean I like everything that I see so far. I'm um, ex excited to like really spend some time with the game, um, and really dig into things that ideas that i have surrounding it um yeah. having played mark of the wolves as much as i have with uh you and abe and jaime uh i definitely feel like i'm going to be in, a little ahead i guess oh, than most people just trying to game out that haven't played mark of the wolves mm -hmm. um but yeah man like it's it, it looks really freaking cool. That's the that's the best part about it, man. Like everything I see from this game just looks really goddamn cool, and I'm really happy that it's coming along the way that it has, and that's got nothing but positive reviews so far from everybody that has laid hands on the game. Um, so, just I mean, if anything, it's got to like manage my jealousy. My envy is like at an all time <laughs> high right now, bro. <laughs> You know, you, you went to celebrate your birthday while we went to play City. Well, I say play. We went to work. Um, you went to work, and I was yeah. like, um, and then all that stuff started dropping, like Terry and mine and Street Fighter 6, and I'm in my hotel room like, ah! Oh, did did we, t we didn't tell you. So um, in the venue, uh, one, one of the booths was playing the Summer Game Fest um, thing. Um, the, the, the what, what is that, the online show or whatever it is? The, the trailer show. Yeah. And... They showed off Terry, and the, the whole venue just like, whoa, whoa. I'm like, Every, what, everyone knows who Terry Bogart is? Whoa. This is cool. Look at this baby. Like, that's the Pokemon trainer? <laughs> oh, bell, adult Pokemon trainer. Oh, boy. <laughs> Damascus oh, hey, it's, lost uh, interest once you learned about Air Revlo. Okay. Uh, is that weird. real? Is, isn't isn't Damascus the guy that plays Dragon Ball Fighters where it's, it essentially has Air Rev Blow and the Super Dash? Don't they function the same? Am I wrong? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Unless they changed it. <laughs> oh, what's going on, Jaime? Um, yeah, look, look, look at this happy baby. <laughs> it was just like, uh, 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 uh. Say, what y'all talking about? He said, Rio, is Rio in the game? Maybe. I want to say we're, we're feeling pretty good about yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my, that's my gamble. I think that the other... Uh, the the yeah. other um Kyokugen fighter that was mentioned in that interview was going to be Ryo Sakazaki. It's it's Ryo or Yuri, one or the other. Well, and he's gonna have any more trouble. Yeah. Uh huh. He said Sorry, Ryo. Didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> very very bad form of me. Um, My bad. But yeah, uh, I have a lot of faith that the game is gonna do extremely well. Um, it got nothing but positive feedback from everybody. Um, and all the negative stuff that people had to say, like anything negative people had to say was like, uh, what was it? Matt muscles was one of the people he's like, Oh, the only thing I don't like is like Vox is a fast character. He like zooms all over the place with his, his attacks, but he's got like a very, uh, when he does his, uh, what is it? What is it called? Hidden, hidden gear. Um, hmm. he just slowly walks at you and he's like, that's, that's very different. It doesn't match the character's vibe. 
And I, I understand things like that, but in terms like gameplay, visuals, sound, no one complained about everything. Are we getting the full Mark broken. of the Wolves roster for the base roster? Uh, there, there I, already... I would like that. I think that it should. They should return. Yes, I agree. But they're they've they're saying Grant's dead. No, so, one's, dead. no one's ever really no dead. no one ever really dies. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Do I you mean, believe like, that? Were, were you hmm? weren't you saying something last night about like some scrolls that geese yeah these, was these ancient for? scrolls that geese geese was doing things with you know. I'm hoping that like... everybody comes back. Um, I especially want the Kim brothers to come back. I do not want Dad Kim in the game at all. Mm. I don't think that it makes sense to put him in. If they put him in over the brothers, I will lose my mind. Um, or if they put one brother in and then put him in, like, oh no, I don't know, like Dong broke his ankle and I'm I'm here in his place, you know. I don't think that he would be that much of a draw that it would warrant putting him in over the brothers when we're we're just pre we're like Preacher is clearly like we're leaning into the new generation yes. of S and K uh rosters. So Yes. And that, that's what I, I so that's what I want. I like I've been saying, like I'm gonna be honest, I I don't like that Mai is possibly in the game. I don't like that Joe and Andy are possibly in the game. I don't I like the Billy's that, in the man. game. Joe is in not enough games, honestly. It could be in more games. Uh eh, meh. Um, I'm hoping, I generally hope that we see more, like, I want to see some new, new characters. Like, if you bring old characters back, bring, I feel the real about characters should come back. Put Bob Wilson in the game. Um, I, I would love Franco to come back, but he's, he's old, old, you know, he's like late forties, I think, technically in this game. Maybe his back's messed up. Don't know. Hey man, people can still get down at that age, right? Um, maybe, maybe. But yeah, like bring the, the joke. Bring bring a function back, right? That's what we could do. Bring bring a tung fu ru function. But Actually, ducking, yeah, that would probably be the better option. I, I think ducking has to come back. You want to see Billy? Okay. Yeah, we're not friends anymore. Sixty-year-old um, duck king, like with the dance with the dance troupe. What if his body's so busted he can't break dance anymore? That's what I'm gonna say. Like, how's he getting it down anymore? Hmm. We're not gonna get Billy. I th so I Billy um I think ever, so me personally I think Billy sorry there are people pounding on my front gate I think Billy kind <laughs> rock in that poster they're all in the game I don't think Joe and Andy are in the game at all and I don't want them to be I like I heard the, you hear my voice line I hope it's just a story thing I well, see some, I see some people oh. saying the the voice doing um the the Hokutomaru voice in the trailer some people are saying that's actually Andy because it sounds older and I don't know what, what the hell it is. I think Andy's not coming out because it looks like he's got a full-time job now for pay back all those debts he's got from being my, an engineer. My guy is definitely <laughs> working the, uh, the restaurant circuit. He's so. got debt, like serious debt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Duck King is alive and well in the Mark of the Wolves prequel. Yeah, but, you know, two years have passed since then. What if, what if, I don't know, he took an arrow to the knee? You never know. You think Andy will be DLC? DLC I'm, I'm curious about. Because I think if they're going to make DLC characters, they, I think they should get all the new new characters as base roster. And DLC should be like yeah. Yamazaki, Duck King, Richard Meyer, you know, so on and so forth. Like no, notable names. Not, I think that hits heavier. Yeah. Like assuming, say, Vox, if they made Vox DLC, I don't think that would go over well. Because people would be no. like, why? Just make Grant DLC instead. No, this right. is the platform where you run all your new ideas. Uh, and then once they have gotten a chance to, you know, get to know the, the audience and vice versa, then you start dropping the old favorites and maybe some guest characters. Yeah. Um, I, I am curious to see who, who comes back. Um, who do you not want back, Chris? Uh... I mean, there's so many characters that I just wouldn't care about. Like Axel Hawk. Freeman. Wouldn't Freeman. care. Uh we're talking specifically Mark of the Wolves. No, uh, Fury, straight up that that main Fury, Fury, yeah, like, Axel Hawk I don't care about. Uh Michael Max, obviously. Um wouldn't care. People always say Richard Meyer, but honestly I don't care about Richard Meyer. Like if we can just bo get Bob, Bob Wilson. Yeah, I think Bob's better. a better character. Yeah. And I mean Richard was only in one game. Like I like yeah. Richard. I like the design, but Bob Wilson is so cool. 
Let's just kidding. Let's um, Abe, how about you? Who do you not want in the game? Mm, Is it too late for you to take Kotaro out? I wish. <laughs> I don't. So I, you already said just Fatal Fury, right? Yeah. Because yeah. I don't want KOF characters, to be honest. I prefer if the game didn't have. I agree like, you know, you. like Kyo and Iori. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. want. I, I saw some people saying they just want, like, why Vox? Just put Iori in the game. Like, no. I know exactly who's saying that, too. And there's people that have no shame and never want to adapt to new things. Well, I'm just going to say, was it Aru? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, it probably was. <laughs> Dude, do you, do you, uh... Oh. Yeah, see, he agrees. Like, get that BS out of here. We want new characters only. Uh, I took a, a year-long tri trip to Hawaii, you know. Very nice. Very good. Um, I want Han Fu to come back. Han I think Fu that's a character that was... Yeah. Uh, I know a lot of people want Alfred to come back, but a lot of people don't necessarily know Alfred very well. They just saw the character design, like, cool. I do think him coming back would be cool. Rick coming back would be cool. That's a big one. A lot of people want Rick to come back. Yeah, because Vanessa upset so many people. Yeah. Um, for me, uh, I don't want... I personally do not want Mary to come back. I never liked the character. Um... But at the same time, I don't like Rock and I don't like Hotaru. Mary's also a unique. Is function, Mary so. actually popular too? Like, is so she? Uh, I've had this talk with a lot of old SNK people. She was not mm. super popular in the old days. Um, people use the argument that oh, you know, she she won the poll to get into KOF ninety seven, but uh, she is very like I don't know what it is these days, but at the time, blonde white women for Japan was like a huge popular character archetype. Chris, you know this. Um, yeah, see, um, but here in the West, she wasn't pop like no one liked the character. No, not no one, you, you know what I mean. A lot of people didn't like the character. The most vocal Mary fan over the past like 25 years has been Ghost Pilot, and Ghost Pilot can tell you, he's yeah, been, that's true. Yeah. He's been fighting the, the the good fight for her for years. It's much like with, with me and Shermie. Shermie wasn't a popular character, you had me, Gunsmith, and you know, there were some, there were some other people, but uh, Mary, now she's like super popular, yeah. so. And it's the same thing with Mary. Mary didn't get super popular until 14. And when 14 came out, I was like, oh, my God, this character's so cool. And I'm like, what? And then people... I'm winning all these tournaments with this Blueberry character. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Um, but, like, the, the only vocal Mary fan in the old days was Ghost Pilot. Uh, he was everywhere. Like, legitimately everywhere. And I'm like, who is... And that's, that's one of the ways I met Ghost Pilot. I'm like, who is this jackass? Why does he like, like this character? Full, <laughs> like, bro, give it a rest. And then you have me and Gunsmith being the idiots. Like, oh, Shermie. It's, I, I, I created the Church of Shermie like 22 years ago, 23 years ago or something. 23 I just, I just, years? Yeah, I made Always the joke. Only that old? God Only damn. Only that old because that's, I mean, that was, uh, it was something to do with a cult that was, uh, people were talking about some cult that was going on. I can't remember. And I'm like, nah, screw that church. It's the Church of Shermie. Yeah, that's, that's how it all started. Um... <laughs> But yeah, like, there are a lot of characters that, I, I, in all honesty, they could bring back anyone. Like, I, I don't want to see certain characters, sure. But they could bring back anyone, and that character can be popular now. Um, I, just I, don't know, I don't want them to waste a spot. Like, if they bring a, back a character, they have to be, like, doing they, doing something for the game. Wasting a spot is... So, I understand what you mean. I, I, I personally hate using that term only because, like, what is wasting a spot? You know, like who, to you, uh, to you, what's uh, an EX about? character? That definitely oh. feels like, it, yeah. That kid came back. <laughs> yeah, you saw him walking. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see him walking into frame. <laughs> um, but like, so uh, what was it? Fatal Fury had EX Mary, uh, and she was strong, like really strong and uh, yeah. special. Um, like I don't want to see. I, I mean, I agree with you. I don't want to see EX characters. I don't want to see like. Uh, so we have Hokutomaru. He's the he's the Mai, the the Mai, the Andy, right? I don't want to see Mai or yeah. Andy. I don't want to see any of the Masters return, for the most part, unless they're going to come back and com play completely differently and be different. Because look at Terry. Terry's well, in still terms Terry. of like, so like in terms of like, let's say Preacher, because she's the probably the one that the people immediately think of. Uh, she plays differently enough from Joe, where you have Joe in there, and it's like okay, there's some overlap, but. It's a different school of fighting versus, like, if they bring back Grant, like, it's going to be kind of, like, what, it's going to be kind of hard to really say why do we would you play Vox or Grant or one or the other, basically, right? 
Like they're gonna be too similar. Yeah. I what's what sucks is I think Grant will get more of a pop than Joe would if you bring him back. If Grant can play identically to uh, Vox, and people will still want Grant more than Joe, not Probably. for any negative reason. It's just I mean, Grant is just objectively one of the sickest looking fighting game designs. Like you can oh, look yeah, at him absolutely. like, damn, that's sick, Joe. I'm not- Joe looks very generic. I've yeah. never been any. I have no delusions about that. Um, and they haven't updated his design in over thirty years. Feels like. So. Yeah, and the the other problem is people are so used to um, KOF Joe, the goof the goofball Joe, whereas Fatal yeah. Fury Joe is like serious fighter guy. Yeah. Uh, he he's a goofball in the Fatal in the the KOF series. Sex offender. <sighs> he can never come back. He can never come back. Never you gotta put him back. on the registry. Probably already is. God damn it. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think that like they have a ton of characters to pull from. One of the big things that I want, I genuinely want, uh, Carmen Cole to come back. Um, but he, so that's he, something we talked about last night. Also, is like this. Also, this this game obviously leaves the window for the other. I'll say baseline fighting game SK properties, not KOF. That they they may appear there, but like art of fighting characters uh, could appear here. Um, is is this other. is this the game that gets really wacky or no? So and by what I mean is like, would they put a Metal Slug game character in this game? I doubt it. Like, well, is I, that I, I reaching would... too far? Uh, I would say I could see Akari Warriors before Metal Slug. Yeah, I can see Akari. But then you're you're you're, di- you're dipping into uh, KOF characters at that point. But the Akari not, Warriors not were a not KOF or, character. Yeah, they were they were oh, characters sorry. before yeah. KOF. That's that's the thing. Ah, okay, that's an exception, I guess. So, I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong. Like, like Rio is a KOF character technically, right? The, like yeah. most people will see any of these characters. Oh, that's the King of Fighters guy, right? That's what mm-hmm. they'll see it as. Not oh, this like I don't know. She's she's the the, the Psycho Soldier team. Why is it called the Psycho Soldier team, huh? <laughs> Things like Dude, Kenzo comes back in in City of the Wolves. He could. I mean, wouldn't that be crazy? Be I don't cool. know what the time difference is there, but redesigned and everything but yeah you know as long as it's not leona you could put yeah you could put like ralph and clark in fatal fury yeah make them different you know maybe mm-hmm. or you know hey well, ralph and clark but they're actually vince and paul why are they vince and paul we don't know we don't know <laughs> that's just their names technically they can put uh fidel and Che in the game yeah they could you know it's a lot they can do um <laughs> Sorry, I just read something just gross in chat, yeah. Lumatic. What the hell? Yeah, I just saw that um, Lumatic. <laughs> she's 10. No. Um, I have no idea how old she is. But um, I do think that they're... Uh, I'm not necessarily going to say they're going to go all out. I I think that they're going to do a lot of good things with this game. Seeing where it is right now and just seeing the character designs. Like I, I, I don't care for Preacher. I think the design's good. People uh, love Preacher yes, at Summer Games Fest. Preacher number one, Vox number two. Wait, actually, Marco, Marco, Marco. Marco, then Vox. Yes. And then it became Rock and Terry. Rock and Terry, people didn't really. It's not that they didn't mesh with them. It's just like, oh my god, these other characters look so much better. Marco objectively like, is like the best looking character in the game. Like, like really honestly, really. if we're if we're just going with numbers, like pre- people were all over Preacher. Yeah, they yeah. were. Like that, that, that that's prevalent online too. Social media is just basically like we want more preacher, and I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm all about it, brother. Oh, yeah. I definitely care for preacher, but I wouldn't mind having Joe as DLC. Um, do you guys want to tackle the topic of? Because I don't think we talked about it on here. Of what the DLC is going to be for her KOF? Did we talk about it on Fatal Showdown? We, uh, or you mean today? No, we didn't talk about it. We yeah. talked about it last, we, we mentioned it last night, but uh, I, mean, I mean. It's a big topic, right? Like, I mean, because of what is going on with Capcom currently, right? And uh, the SK yeah. characters being Fatal Fury specifically. Fatal Fury, specific Fatal characters, Fury yeah. characters, not KOF. Fatal Fury characters in uh, the Street Fighter Six DLC. Yeah. So, in my opinion, that Fatal Fury character distinction really makes the difference there. 
Uh, not that it can't happen in 15, and that, and if it did, I think it'll be fine. But I also think that if you want max potency on this decision, you go with Fatal Fury City, City of the Wolves for your I, guest character slot. I got one theory that I, I, I need to get off ASAP. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're noticing a lot of Metal Slug love, right? And I can't unnotice it. My head is thinking, especially since KOF 15 already has a Metal Slug stage, we get a Metal Slug character for sure. I, I think that would be a perfect spot in a KOF game to put him. I don't think we're getting Neil Geo Battle Coliseum anytime soon. So if we were going to have a crossover character of a SNK char character from another game, I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to at least throw one. I don't think it's going to be a whole team. I think that would be crazy. Mm -hmm. But one, um, I mean, also a character for sure. One Capcom character for sure. And then, I don't know, maybe another KOF character. Shin Wu? I don't know. I, I, mean, I mean, there's I, a lot I, of punchy I, I, characters I, I, in the game, so there, I don't know. There, there are, but that's just the risk you run when you're doing a KOF game is that you're, you're going to have a some punchy characters you're gonna have some overlap some characters are gonna do the same things as other characters but better and i mean fans keep bringing them up so it's not like he won't he won't make money is all i'm saying i don't watch him um i don't either but i'm just saying I that's like the I, I, the the only reason i do think it would be shenmue is because you have two of his other teammates in the game yeah um and it makes i sense. don't Oswald. What's that? I don't want Oswald in the game either. No, I, I, I don't. In all honesty, I, those, the DLC characters from 14, I do not want this. I would like to see Mian return. I would like to see Gang Il, Hein. Mian certain, is dope. Yeah, Gang Il is dope. Certain 14 characters I would I would love to see come back. But uh, I don't, I don't know, know if they would hit like that, unfortunately. Well, the, the thing I liked that they did with 14, they threw, what, like 16, 17 new characters in the game? Oh, that was cool. Uh, Some I'm, more misses. But, you know. Dude, Mui Mui was tight. I, I literally, I don't like characters like that, but mm -hmm. when Mui Mui first came out pre-launch, I was like, this character's dope. Uh, Like, really fun to use. The whole dragon thing, that was like that was one of the big. best supers in the game uh, or climaxes. Um, But I was going to say, do you know who feels perfect for this game that's from the new 15 characters? 14, sorry. Nelson, bro. I'm not even like, Pulling Chris's Bro, chain, what are I you think doing? he would be. You're, jinx, you're jinxing it, man. I, think he would I haven't be, brought him up in a whole month. I think he'd be fantastic in this game. Oh, Another man. crack at that character would be oh, pretty sick. Please. All right. So obviously, an I updated want look. To, an updated look with some, with like you know, some some hair that looks cool, and maybe a new outfit, and he got some like drawings on his arms or something, right? But like straight up, dude, like. I've already theorized about how strong he could be in 15. I mean, you don't have to even really update his move list, you know? Like, you just literally build his whole game plan around having, around having constant access to EX Command Dash, which is full body invulnerable, and you can cancel it in the command grabs, and he can basically blow up about 80% of the cast whenever they think they are just free to press a button whenever. Uh, but I did not want to jinx it by talking about it. <laughs> oh, God. About it. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'll, I'll counter uh, that and say, hey, let's just throw Grant in this game, yeah? Whoa! <laughs> bro, I'd explode. It, dude, if that would happen, you get, like, actual Grant? Oh, my God. I think that we'll, would be so sick. There's, there's, a, there's a strategy involved with this. You put Grant as DLC for 15. That way, people are familiar with Grant. That way, it gives Vox more like, oh, hey, that's who this guy is supposed to be. Interesting. That mm. would be a good idea. Right? But I, So, I'm saying Grant because I don't want Nelson in anything ever again. <laughs> All right? That's my counter. That's your um, call. Okay. But, like, ser uh, seriously, who would I want to see? I would like to see. I mean, Heavy D. I'd like to see. Um, that would be if, if I had peak one right there if, for if, sure. If they let me pick one character, and SNK, I've been working with SNK for decades, and I have been telling them to put the sports team back in. I've I've been asking them for Shermy and Heavy D in particular. I got Shermy back in. I'm taking full credit for that. That was me. And <laughs> uh, need need Heavy D now. All right. 
Heavy D's got to come back. I know people want the Brian Copter, but why don't you just bring Heavy D back and you know give him give him a basketball, give him a shoulder pad, give him all their moves. That way he's got heavy 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 I heavy doctor. The Brian Copter. Yeah, he's got the the heavy copter, and then he's he's got death ball or whatever you want to call it, you know. Um, but in all honesty, it, it genuinely like everyone's thinking that it's a guest. Uh, they think it's one guest character when SK has already confirmed it's multiple characters. It's about to be a virtual wait. character. Watch that. Wait, 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 wait. But they never confirmed there was multiple. They did. Yes. They did. They did. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Let me finish what I'm saying. They never confirmed there's going to be multiple guest characters, did they? No, no, not guest not characters. Not guest characters. They, that, no, that's they never said something guest. I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, they never said guest at all. Oh, God. It's no. the, the community assumes it's guest character. Yeah. But they have confirmed it's multiple characters. So it is multiple characters. Yes. So that's that's the thing. Um, will they drop all around the same time? Will they be staggered? You also got the tour going on. You're going to throw these DLC characters out in the middle of your tour. Hey, man, they threw Advanced Strike out right before the final, so. Dude, True. dude, one more, one more prediction. If they put AG, he'd be perfect. Hey, oh, yeah. See? Even the, the baby's like, AG. <laughs> Bro, AG would be perfect, and it's got Art of Fighting Lord. Come on, man. Like, Daddy, you're popping off too hard. <laughs> I think I think he's saying oh, he wants man. you in uh, KOF DLC. Dude, straight up, man. Himself, yeah. put, put put real EX real, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ninety eight FE EX yeah. real. Nah, AG would be good in this game too. I think uh, I think he fits in a lot of KOF games though. Like he was fit pretty well in the uh, eleven, and I was like, uh, he, I he think fits he into every in game, game he's in, and yeah. he's he's very very fun in all the games he's into. Yeah, another um, AG and 98 FE. Hey, man, I'm not disagreeing with that, but there's a lot of people who would disagree with you. Not saying I'm one of them. He's fun. I like him. And he's a ninja, so, you know, the lore here is, folks, I, I'm just Yo, all in on ninjas. For Whoa. Mr. Big in 15? All right. Um, now, for sure, I'm sh I'm shutting down. So I think I'll we're all shutting down. Now, oh, okay. Cause... All right. Uh, Gibby seems to have shut down completely. Sorry, I, I apparently got a bunch of messages that uh, needed to be responded to two hours ago. Oh, oh here we go. Now, yeah. Here we go, guys. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, I mean, so I want Heavy D and Seth back. I, I've been saying for so long Seth needs to come back. Such a cool character. Uh, they kept Ramon, not Seth. Like, what the hell? Also, my eyeball's dying on me. I don't like it. It's been probably it's probably so much worse now. Let me see. Sorry, what, what, what can I it say? Oh, sounds like it's time to close out, buddy. Yeah, it's at the limit. Uh, push it to the limit. My wife is calling me now. What the heck? Um, like, are you see. still streaming? Let's see. Who do we send things over to? We Look at him, what man. Do you uh, <laughs> Justin Long's playing Elden Ring. Let's go. So, you guys want to see some Elden Ring? Because you're about to see some Elden Ring, everybody. I'll ask him Vox Slayer uh, questions, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. agree with that. Go tell them we all said what's up. Um, but yeah, uh, as always, everybody, thanks for watching. Um, we'll have more. We'll, we should hopefully have more of a time frame to announce when we're doing this again. Um, and yeah, and any any time we get access to footage, we'll try to do it as soon as we can. It's just you know we're all old and we have busy schedules. We're all working. It sucks. Why can't we just live for free and play City of the Wolves? I mean, maybe uh, in another 50 years. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, thanks for watching, everybody. This was a good show. Uh, we'll have it uploaded to YouTube soon. Very Go, soon. Real yeah. quick, real quick. This is my DLC pick. God damn it. Edgy, Marco, Capcom character. That's your, okay. That was That's your it, pick. bro. I'm sticking with that till the end. Right. Not Marco, sorry. I meant Metal Slug character. Yeah, I was going to say Metal I, I, I Slug Marco. Metal Slug Marco. All right, I'm yeah. transitioning to the, the closing. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Peace.